Good evening. I'd like to open the Gearfield Planning Board meeting, October 7th, 2019, at 7.14 in the evening, here at the Deerfield Town Hall. Tonight, uh, agenda is to review some minutes of previous meetings, if we have them, review some mail, take some public comment, and then we have a public hearing. Berkshire Design Group has requested an opportunity to present revised plans for the site at 198 Mill Village Road, previously approved by the Planning Board for Cultivation of Marijuana by Sons Mass Inc. Changes include addition of a 60,000 gallon of propane storage, demolition of a barn, reduced size of a processing building, and reconfiguration of the parking lot. Then after that, uh, uh, we're gonna look at Old Deerfield 3 Solar Project, a review of revisions to a site plan review. Uh, the applicant, based on input from the electric company, is proposing changes to the access road. Then some, we'll get to some old business, hopefully, to re, uh, ongoing discussion and review of zoning bylaws for current relevance and clarification. Then we'll discuss planning board function. Then we'll take up any business not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the posting of this meeting. We'll set a date for the next meeting and adjourn. Anything? Any comments on that agenda, planning board members? Nope. All right, we have a quorum. Um, I did get an email from Max or a text a couple hours ago that he's not gonna make it. Otherwise, the six of us here. Do you wanna say who we are? And Mary Clute here. Rachel That's Rachel Blaine out there in the audience. John Waite. Kip Kamosa. Paul Ellis. Roger Sadowski. Thanks. We have minutes, uh, Paul, are these from you for September 16th? Yes. Uh, that was our last meeting. Excellent. Up to eight minutes. I don't remember either. Do you have this down? The three five hundred for will we paying that? Paul? What's that? The thirty five hundred for the MVP floodplain work. That was in the notes I took, but so, I. So is that we paid or? Thinking? That's what the town, I guess, was. This this was stuff that di di this all goes under Diana Please. Schindler, and these are things. So it had been, but it's already done. That's a grant that was already that we had that we saw the end of, right? Yes. Thank you. That's what I thought. So she's there's that is just um, a note that we had that done already. Okay. So you're saying it wasn't on the special? Well, it I, wasn't thought on the agenda that, I thought they were going to continue some more stuff with him. No, 
No. No, I mean we could, but we don't. It wasn't budgeted for in the special town meeting, and that number s strikes me as part of a, a 18-19 grant. Does that sound right to you, Kip? Yes, when he came and he spoke to us about we the worked with that, update. and that was that, that was ended. That grant ended, or whatever. Uh, so I got the idea that this was her wish list of money to spend. This is what she was saying when she said it. But the select the finance committee approved the planning board seventy five hundred for the planning board, um, and so that's what she was talking about. And then they brought it to the town special town meeting. Yeah, my notes talk about that floodplain work, but it doesn't. It say that it, it wasn't in conjunction with the special meeting at all. Yeah. Okay, so, so what do you want to do related, to that? But it's you can just take that out. Wasn't part take of that line out? Yeah. Okay. It was it was information, but it wasn't. All right. It was just, yeah. wasn't relative to the wasn't special town meeting. And then she was going to try to get a grade four, 40 hour per week position to replace Priscilla's position. That didn't work. And no, that it didn't did. go either? It did. It passed. Oh, it did? But the, the, it was not endorsed by the finance committee, but it passed in the special town meeting. Oh, okay. Some money for it, right? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and am I correct in saying that that was supposed to cover us and all the different That's things? what we were hoping. Yeah, that's yeah. a good way to put it. Okay. We were a part right. of that. Uh, good, people. okay. Dollar a month. 14,000 more. Right? You guys were there? You don't remember. I don't have my notes with me. I, I have the warrant. But it I, did pass. I know that. I, I don't know. 14. Yeah. Okay. It did. Oh, it was MO. I did. Okay. It was not endorsed by the Finance Committee. All right. But back to our minutes. Sorry. The first thing up there, A&R 71 Hillside, the A&R is, I don't get what it means, is to make correct some adjacent lots. Yeah, wasn't that the one that had all the lots? He was giving pieces to this one, that one, and... Mm -hmm. Yep. But, so. but we didn't, our decision wasn't to make correct. All we did is we endorsed the A&R that actually... Well, the, the separated, I thought it Well, this actually says here that it was moved and seconded yeah, yeah, yeah. to endorse the ANR as presented. That was just, this was discussion about why they did it up at the top here. I forget. Yeah. It doesn't, it just doesn't read right to me. That, um, that's not what we, we don't have last month's stuff here. Oh, I think I do. Because then you're saying that they were incorrect before, and I'm not sure that's what we. Okay, we, we could change the wording. We didn't decide they were incorrect. I can so I, the wording if you. Yeah, want. I just yeah. is that we approved an A and R based on the plans presented. Okay, I'll change it to. So we match we endorsed, I guess, is we're supposed to endorse. A well, the, the motion is correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're okay. saying that the, the the reason that they stated was not yeah. not written right. Okay. Weren't they separating lots? You don't have <clears throat> I think well, what let me it look was at they that. were adjusting the lots so that the um, frontage <clears throat> would be up to code. Allocating land to a butters. Plan to con no, that's not convey endorse either. We don't care. Plan plan to convey two smaller parcels to a butters was what it said in the agenda last month. And that was, he was doing that to make these neighboring parcels be uh, more to correct yeah. in the zoning. Mm -hmm. and, and they were just trying to be good guys about it, is the way they put it. Is this on Hillside? Mm -hmm. The 71 Hillside. The I Heberts, were those their names, the Herberts? Yeah, Hebert. yeah but there were buildings that weren't on their own property, so they sold them or whatever they did, swap property around, so then their building would be on their property. Wasn't just me. Yep. And also, that frontage would be back in compliance. So, in a way, it's a correction. Paul's not wrong. Okay, I, I don't, it just doesn't sound right. Paul, well, do you want to correct it? Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think what this is. Right. Yes. Adjust, adjust. Yeah, it's to adjust, I think. It's, it's to make correct. To, to, to adjust. The ANR to adjust to adjacent lots. Uh, adjust adjacent lots, okay. Adjacent lots to be conforming yeah. as shown on plans. Mm -hmm. So we'll just put adjust instead of correct there. Yeah, instead of that make correct, it's yeah. make correct, put adjust. Okay. Oh, you're brilliant. Can you do, that? do you have another copy of those minutes? I don't have them. Oh, you don't? Yeah, I do. 
Thanks, yep. Okay. All right. Thanks. Anything else on the uh, minutes from September 16th? Otherwise, make a motion to approve. Paul's going to change the 8 to 10K to 7,500. No. No? Oh, okay. I think that may be what they voted, but yeah, this, were, is what this was her wish list when she started. That's, yeah, that's what she but told us. I can change it to 7.5 if you want. I don't. It's what I have in my notes. Oh, okay. And it was the number that they were going to propose. It was on the warrant. Okay. All right. That's so fine. I just change it, change it here. Yeah. 7,500. So I changed that, crossed out the 3,500 line, and added it just up to the top. All right. I was looking at the guests. I don't think those people were here. That's what I was wondering. Blake was a meeting wasn't, before or something. Blake wasn't here. Oh, that could be, yeah. Yeah, plus we don't need to put people if they're not speaking, really. Okay. Like, David, David wasn't here last week, and that was the weekend before. Pam Fisk wasn't here last week. That was right. That's yeah, okay, why that's I was what confused. it was. Right, right, right. So let's take the, that out, and, and I don't know who was here from the paper. Was Don here? Yeah, but that doesn't need to be put under minutes. Okay. I mean, Chris right. was here, so that's good. So Dick Chris and Dick here. were here, and, and they're mentioned in the minutes, so that so makes sense. So. Okay. I'll just take everybody but Chris and... Can you correct these? Can you bring them into the building yeah. inspector's office? Yeah. No, I, I've got to find out who sent them to. I, this, this comes as a draft here, and when these are done, I correct them, and then they become corrected. Yeah, you who know, do you send them to? I used to send them to Priscilla. Yeah. So I don't know where they're going to go now, but... Uh, well, I would, say, I would say Diana always well, I can for, for now Diana. anyway. Yeah. 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 All right. So uh, do we have a motion to accept the minutes as amended? You did, John. You just moved it, I thought. Second. Who oh. seconded it? Rachel. Rachel. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose? Sorry. Abstain? Aye. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so you can move. Watch this? I don't know. You have to if have you watch it, that means you're. And you're no. did, did you watch it? This is easy I did, but I don't have the paperwork, so I have to say. Yeah. Okay. okay, so 501. Not, I don't think there's anything. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Better Complicated. All right. Is there anybody. Uh, Anybody from the public want to make a comment or a question about anything that's not on the agenda tonight? Yep. Actually, you need to, because it's not just for us, it's for the people on TV as well. Village Road, Deerfield. Um, my only, I wanted to support you. Um, a comment you made, I think um, Attorney Evans was here, I don't know if it was at your last meeting or the meeting before, and he brought up the fact that they wanted to do some different things um, at 188 Mill, 198 Mill Village Road. Okay, so we're going to talk about 198. No, I know, but this is not to do with the, not with this. Okay. the um, what's the on the agenda for yeah. tonight, the public hearing. Okay. It was just a comment on his comment that he came to you about changing something else oh, okay. and you were had concerns about you know the APR and what you've done you've worked hard to keep you know the agriculture agriculture and everything and I just wanted to say I support you know, that decision I'd like to see it you know I have a little I have a problem with someone coming to you saying I will write up the bylaws for you and here there you have it and I know he went to the selectmen and did the same thing so and I know you had concerns I didn't hear that so much at the selectmen's meeting, but I just want to say I support that your decision to really question some of the things that he was offering to do for you to make it easy, and because nothing's ever easy. So that's it. Thank you. Kevin. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. We like it when people support us. Mm -hmm. so. Anything else? All right. So let's open the public hearing. It's gonna. Uh, that's not it. Do you have the 
those are the plans from last I know, but you have the public hearing notice that went in the paper. Oh, it was, it's right there. No, it's just. No. That's a flood plan. This is an old. Oh, oh, oh it's in here, it's in here, it's in here. It was online. So we uh, yep. I mean, I think this is the word. We ask um, people's patience as we have undergone some staff changes here at the uh, in yes. town at Deerfield, if you can imagine that. Yeah. Yeah. Staff changes? Um, yes, yeah. we have no staff. Right, it's not staff yeah. changes, ma'am. Yeah, yeah. So this is, what you, this is the box you found in there? Yep. It's uh, actually, actually, I think the longer one is probably posted up right there. Do you want me to go get it? It's in a glass case, isn't oh. it? Oh, <laughs> good point. You go, John. Oh, yes, perfect. <coughs> Thank you. Okay. This is the same. Say it by the same. Oh, excellent. I'd like to open the, a uh, public hearing with the Deerfield Planning Board to be held October 7th. That's close to 7 o'clock in the Deerfield Municipal Offices, 8 Conway Street, to act on a revised site plan review application and accompanying stormwater plan for the cannabis cultivation facility approved by vote of the board on March 4th, 2019. The revised plan for the 198 Mill Village Road site was filed by Berkshire Design Group on behalf of SunMass Inc. Changes to the plan include a reduced footprint of a new processing building, the addition of a 60,000 60, gallons of propane storage, demolition of a barn at the northeast corner of the greenhouse parcel, reconfiguration of the parking lot, rerouting of some utilities and septic system, and addition of a gravel access road. Copies of the proposed project revisions are available for inspection in the municipal offices during normal business hours. Any person interested or wishing to be heard should appear at this time and place designated. So, last meeting we heard about some proposed changes to the site plan review and we asked that um, uh, we, we thought it was significant enough to have a public hearing and we hired, or we had, I guess, you know, the town hired a peer review uh, person to review the site plan and stormwater to make sure um, we, we know the difference. And um, I think the outcome of this is whether we want to, uh, well, one would be whether we need a whole other public hearing or we can just look at their revisions and, and accept them. So that's what we're, we're hoping to do tonight. Um, so you want to tell us who you are and um, and Joe, you want to, should we let him present and then you can come up and Absolutely. give your uh, observations, that'd be great. Chris, let us know who sure. you are. Sure, uh, Chris Chamberlain uh, from Berkshire Design Group. I'm the civil engineer for the project at 198 Mill Village Road. Um, since the, and uh, also with me, uh, Attorney Dick Evans, um, as well as uh, Kirk Baker from Somerset Engineering, also members of our team. Um, since the um, previous meeting that I was here, um, we provided our revised plans and stormwater report to Weston and Sampson for a peer review. Uh, we received comments from them uh, last week um, and uh, have incorporated uh, the changes that were suggested or otherwise addressed to the comments. Uh, we sent a letter back to the board this morning, which I have copies of uh, that I can hand out. And um, I also have for record uh, a set of newly revised plans. Um, there were, we'll obviously go through that. Uh, there were a number of uh, minor plan changes that are now incorporated, but uh, we're submitting these for record. Enough of the 
used to go around. Thank you. That's great. Which, this was emailed today. But yes, it was. Thank paper. you. Yep. This is just your letter with the um, yes, it is. The Western Samson. And it has the peer review comments um, as the second piece of that. All right. So I've got that. Thank you. That's what was online today. By yeah, 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 I know. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, this we got a few days ago from Joe, but this we just saw today, and I, we haven't really looked at it. Um, and seeing as we're talking about revisions and peer review comments, um, I, I'll ask for the board's advice on how you'd like me to proceed Actually, with would, my presentation. Uh, Joe, would you mind, why don't you come up here and so we can just go oh, kind of back and forth each item go together. Back. That way uh, we don't need two full presentations. So you want to just introduce yourself as, uh, so we hired uh, Weston and Samson to be our peer review. Good evening. Uh, for the record, my name is Joe Perigini, a professional engineer with Weston and Sampson, uh, here on behalf of the town of Deerfield. Um, I had prepared a, a peer review form uh, dated, uh, it was completed on October 1st and uh, that was submitted the same day. I'll just go through those comments. Yes. Um, Would you turn it a tiny bit oh, so the public can see it as well? Okay. What's that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so, well, you might have to move over. <laughs> yeah. The camera's usually good about picking it up too for the okay. TV, so. Okay, um, I'll just go through the comments, um, starting with the plan comments, and then I did not have any uh, comments on the stormwater report. Um, there really were very little in changes to the overall stormwater. Uh, based on the prior design, we're looking at what, what had uh, been altered on the site, whether or not there was a significant change in impervious area that would alter. All the drainage patterns are the same. The overall impervious area was essentially the same. It was um, very, very minor changes. So um, as we, we expected, the, the stormwater design, the stormwater management, the infiltration basin, um, those measures are, were in the same location. Um, so there really uh, wasn't much of an alteration to the site uh, that would that would have required any changes to the stormwater management. Uh, it, there was a back and forth the last time through that um, they had addressed uh, s several concerns w regarding the stormwater management, erosion sediment controls, and those were, v uh, as you would expect, consistent with the last go around. So that is the reason why there, there really weren't any comments to the stormwater uh, management report. Um, I'll go through this, the planned comments. Um, Comment number one, uh, please provide an elevation and floor plan of the new processing building for planning board review. Do you want me to wait to go comment by comment or just go through my list? I think we can go back and fine with me. Then Chris can tell us what, what they've done about that. Sure. Thank you, um, and uh, we acknowledge that we did not uh, submit a revised floor plan and elevation. Um, the floor plan architecturally is still actually under development for the building, although um, I would refer the board to um, the original submission, which did include a floor plan and elevation of the full building. Um, the new floor plan and elevation are scaled down versions of the same, and we would request a, a waiver from submitting that uh, revised floor plan and elevation at this time, although we're happy to do so before we submit it for a building permit, if that's something the board would like to require. So we definitely want to see it. Does it matter if we see it now or later? Or? Joe, do you see any problem with it? I mean, is there, would there be any concerns about it? If it's, it's a smaller building, that's so we kind of thought it's not going to be much of an issue. But. Yeah, I, I didn't see an issue with the layout. Uh, uh, there was plenty of access, um, for vehicle, vehicular access. Um, so it, it, it does free up the site for, for movement. So I, I, I didn't see an issue. All right, so we'll take it when it's... Sure. When it's ready, but before it's the... Not gonna, it's not going to affect, regardless of it, it's not going to affect um, anything. So. Yeah. Then you'll have to give it to the building inspector before. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. Now, is this going to be like an as-built or going to be yes. done before you do the work? 
Uh, that would be before. Yeah, before he gets a, a building okay. permit. This is we're talking about elevation and floor plan of the smaller building. Yeah. All right. But you'll bring it to you'll send it to us here, so we'll see it at the same time that the building inspector building does. inspector's getting it. Yes, uh, and or we could submit it beforehand um, because there'll certainly be a preliminary one done well in advance of okay. submitting to the building department. All right. Great. Um, and there was a question about the, the construction process. The, the new building is not currently under construction. It's slated for a future phase, which is why the, the design is unfinished at this time. F the development of the site is, is happening in, in, in a sequence. Right, right, right. So the things that are being done now were already approved. Correct. Yeah. Uh, let me ask a question. Yeah. Are you saying that the new building is not going to be built right away, that they're going to start business using just the greenhouses? Is that what? Um, the, it's, it depends, I think, in largely on the state licensing process. It could be quite a while still until the license comes through. Um, but the way that the greenhouse work has been phased is um, this area here is being fully built out um, with, uh, with the necessary uh, uh, space um, in addition to the renovation of the office building um, to support a small scale operation um, because of course with 110,000 square feet of growth space they can't populate it all at once. Um, so uh, the intention is to, to essentially grow into that space um, over a period of time and it's not necessary to have the entirety of that harvesting and processing space available on, on day one. So, well that leads to my question is that if that new building's not going to be constructed right away, how is the uh, outdoor infrastructure going to take place? I mean, is it gonna be left gravel or is that pavement still gonna go in prior to that building and you're just gonna leave the footprint of the building open? Where the building is today is grass um, and open space, and it would remain as such until we construct that building. So the um, pavement around that new building won't be put in place until the new building's there, correct? Uh, correct, because we wouldn't want to disturb it um, when we go to build it. I should say, when I, when I say phases, we're talking about a matter of six to 12 months, not okay. multiple years. Okay. Okay. Uh, plan comment number two, uh, the site plan C-1.0 includes the addition of a 15 foot wide gravel driveway for the fire department apparatus. This is located on the north side or the top side of the plan there. Uh, question is, has this been reviewed by the fire department and has a vehicle turning analysis been performed to evaluate the movement to and from the proposed gravel driveway? Um, and the, the gravel drive and particularly the um, widened area of it to plan right is actually a direct request of the fire department. Um, the reason for it is that they want to be able to set up uh, a tower ladder and actually tie into the existing cisterns, which you'll remember. We have about 90,000 gallons of water storage, so the intention is in a fire, um, the truck would set up there and pull water off of those cisterns and be able to shoot it to other areas of the site. Um, and so the, the dimensions of that pad and access road have been reviewed in the field with the fire chief. Um, they're part of uh, conditions for other approvals he had to sign off on. And um, in the letter I included uh, a demonstration of the fire truck turning onto that uh, access road to um, show that it can be done. The cisterns are there for watering? They'll be used primarily for irrigation um, and the fire department anticipates using them as a backup water source um, in addition to the municipal water supply. We do have a hydrant on site um, but there's an advantage to having a completely independent source of water in the in the event of, of an emergency and since we have so much uh, there it's logical that Potential. it would be provided. Just to remind us the, the, the road doesn't go all the way around. 
Correct. For emergency um, vehicles, right? Correct. The backside uh, of the facility, um, there's a wetland within yeah. between 10 and 20 feet in most places, uh, and it, it was not physically possible um, to put a road around the back. So the, the back of the site is, is quiet and, and dark and natural. Um, the fence, of course, connects in here and here, and the greenhouse is uh, being built out with solid uh, panel walls. The roof continues to be uh, clear, obviously. So I'm just wondering, what do we need something from the fire chief uh, exactly. at some point? Yeah, I, I think it's in, we should have it in the file. I mean, it's one thing to say that he said it's okay. Sure. <laughs> just to make sure everybody gets their button. We can it. submit a letter. Okay. And again, Absolutely. we're kind of assuming the fire, the, the building inspector, you know, does this with the fire chief, but it'd be good for us to see the, that they, they know exactly what's going on, too. Just to add to that, uh, they submitted a uh, vehicle turning movement for a fire department vehicle pulling into the site and pulling into that area. Um, and it may have been checked. I would just uh, ask to verify that it can exit the site as well. All right. Was that on your attachment you sent today? Or, yeah. It was included. Yes. Um, yeah, it's, it's attached to the letter um, responding to the comments. Oh. Did you get it? I didn't hear it. It was included in, there was one single PDF that was all bound together. It's in your, it's in your packet? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. I just didn't get that back yet. Okay. I thought I printed out everything, but I guess I didn't. All right, thanks. So we'll double, so we'll get a letter from the fire department. So my question is, so where would the um, public access be accessed to the access road? And would that be gated off with the road? Where the, there's only one access into the area through the, the gatehouse, supposedly. Right. Where are they accessing the access road? So that's from the interior of the site um, after uh, moving through the access gates. So, Mark, show it. Yes. Through, yeah. So, where's Mill Village? So Mill Village is right here. Yeah. And the main driveway in, this is the, the security gate here. Yeah. And so, the, the truck comes in through the parking lot and to the access road here. Is that on APR land? Uh, it is not. It's entirely on the lot that was originally the um, summer house lot. Yeah. And then, while you're there, I wanted to show us the other side. Where's, where's the road go on the other side for emergency vehicles? Um, so, uh, in this case, the again, we can provide a letter from the fire chief. Uh, he did not want to provide access uh, to this area here. He's intending to stage um, all uh, fire apparatus from the large open uh, yard in the front of the greenhouse, although we do have truck access um, yeah. for maintenance on this road here. And for the propane. And for the propane. Correct. Fill that. You need to have a truck or yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess I uh, lump that in with maintenance, but you're you're right. For deliveries, uh, deliveries of fuel. Right. All right. Thanks. So is there still one more question on that access road? Yes. So can you access any of that through the um, APR lane? Um, there is a gate out there. There is a manual gate mm -hmm. um, just because this is the, um, that uh, Sons of Mass is the owner of this land now and has no access to it without crossing a wetland. Um, so there's a padlock gate here so that they can access their land, but the, uh, this is not an entry point to the site. So anybody else be able to access point, that land? Because I know there's a landlock piece in there. Um, so Pioneer Gardens leases this field as well as this field and they have uh, the right to cross their equipment on our property to reach this field. Which will then reach? Which, which then reaches these fields yeah. that they're then having access to. Yeah. So they do not need to cross into our site um, to, to work the land um, and uh, that lease uh, is running for longer than any of us are going to be here. You're using the White House as an access road, the prop, that property, to access so Pioneer Gardens can access their land. They're pretty much landlocked parcel. Correct. 
Um, and that's, and a, that's in your deed with them? That's in your... That, that there right is an way? agreement in place. I don't know the details of it. Okay. <clears throat> um, but I... And it's actually impacts the design to some extent because we have to make sure that uh, this proposed septic system over here can be traversed by, by the uh, farm equipment. Oh, right. I, we can't hear you. I also know that the Simorowski's, the other one, the red house to the north, will probably be going up for sale. Mm -hmm. And then that will be going right between the two houses. So I don't know if that will affect the sale or your plan on buying the sale, buying the house. <laughs> so I, I just know that that's happening. Sure. Higher Year Gardens has approached us for access to that landlock piece. Okay. And we said no. Sure. Because we would lose part of our farmland, which is APR. Hmm. We're not in the business of getting right Sure. Hmm. And I, even right of ways have to have some buffer, right? Is that just. Um, that I don't have the answer to. Because when you say going between two other houses, is it, is it, if it have to has a yes. 10 or 20 foot setback, then is there room for that or not? Mm -hmm. no. Something to, I'm not sure that's part of our site plan. Obviously, that needs to be looked at. Right, yeah. All I've been told because I was uh, asking exactly about the access there was that um, as part of the sale, that Op and Aryan retained the right to cross that land to get yeah. into their fields, and that's the extent to which I asked. Right. You're saying the right of way has to be so far from. That's what I don't know. Do you know what that is? Or? No, I don't know, but I don't really think there is one. It could be right along the. It could who, be right who owns the, the right of way? Well, we would own the property, but I, I think it's set up as an easement for them to cross. Right. Okay. Um, All right. So, so wherever it's going, it's on your land, so an easement shouldn't be a problem. No, I'm just wondering if there has to be a 10 or 20 foot buffer. I don't know why you'd have to on your own, yeah, so. on your own property. Why would you have to do I, that? I don't know that there's anything no, in the zoning bylaw that addresses that. Property that butts it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, if I they build a building, there has to be setbacks. But, but for an easement, it, I, I don't believe so. Yeah. Don't. But I, I'm just, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure where that's in our bylaws, but all right. All right, three. Comment number three, utility callouts overlap other site plan callouts on sheet C 1.0 site plan. Suggest turning off those text layers since utility callouts are already depicted on utility plan C 1.3. And we deleted the offending callouts. Um, the plan was a little busy before. So you just deleted it. So you just deleted it. The, and all of that, as Joe notes, all that information is shown on a separate seat, it was, yeah. uh, sheet. It was a duplication. All right. Comment number four. <laughs> the proposed parking count on C-1.0 zoning table indicates 52 spaces. There appears to be 53 spaces on the plan. I overlooked the one space we have at the south end of the office building when I filled out the table. So that's been corrected. 53 is the correct number. And what was on the original? 52. 52. Original um, the meeting. The original site plan. From. Uh, that we approved in March. Yeah. Uh, I believe it was 52 before. So I think we've squeezed out one extra. You just. But let me see. Right. See if I, I have that. That being an issue or so. All right. So, yeah. All right, that's good. As long as it was, I mean, it wasn't something we discussed, like, you can't have another one. So. No, and we've, we've based the parking count um, on a, a projection of 50 employees at, at maximum, um, and so we've accommodated that as well as a couple of ADA spaces. Good, thanks. Comment number five, uh, we recommend adding more spot elevations to the area at the southwest corner of the new processing building to direct runoff to the infiltration basin. You call it spout what? Spot elevation. Oh, spout. Spot elevations. Spot, spot. It was just a recommendation to to help help direct runoff, overland runoff. Chris, do you have another copy of these? 
of your I just didn't make it. It's fine. The large plans, okay, they're right there. Uh -huh. I can use my little. Well, you were just given a, given a uh, your, your letter? Yes, I do have one more. Okay. A couple oh. more. Rachel didn't get it. Mm -hmm. Did you not get it? Okay. Yeah, that's it. It doesn't say spot foundation. No. Page. Um, Back of the page. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Oh, got it. Somewhere inside. All right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I got it. Um, so we did take that suggestion and added a, a couple of spot grids here just to clarify that, uh, spot that we want uh, that we want all of the water from the roof of this building to run into the infiltration basin. So we clarify that there should be a little bit higher in this corner. Good, and it is right, Joe. Well, uh, just to clarify, I believe I said the south. West corner. Oh. oh, so it would be the opposite side oh, so corner of that new building. Corner. Yeah, and it, it's a it's a it's a very minor thing. It just gives a little more definition for the overland runoff. So it just appears that a few extra spot elevations would be needed. There's plenty of grade there. It's oh, okay. just That's it's just more question. of a clarification. So is, is instead of southwest, you're saying it should be southeast? No. I'm saying southwest. He said southwest. I read it too quickly and adjusted the southeast corner, which oh, also see. benefited from an extra spot rate or two. Okay. All right. So the question is whether we need a whole new plan with that on it. But you know, I mean, you you know I it's there. You know the slope is right. there. Right. So. I don't expect there right. to be a problem with the slope. All it's right. um, it's a recommendation. Right. I'm sure it could be um, easily. Added to. Yeah. All right. Comment number six: Plantings are called out on both the site plan C1 dash C dash 1.0 and the planting plan C dash 1.1. Suggest removing or freezing callouts from the site plans, and this was mainly because it was hard to discern everything on the site plan, and they already had a, a separate planting plan with that information. So you've done that. Uh, we, we took that uh, recommendation and, and deleted those call-outs from the site plan sheet. Uh, comment number seven, uh, it was just a spelling uh, for the word delineated on, on sheet C-1.0. Man, these guys are good, Chris. <laughs> I do the same thing when I'm up here. I if I don't have a dozen of these things, I'll go back through it again <laughs> to find something. Sometimes you, you're reviewing it and your eye will catch know, it. Like, oh. And other times you don't catch it <laughs> and you can't believe you missed it. <laughs> uh, comment number eight. Uh, there are three dark hatched areas on the site plan C-1.0, but no call out or description of what these represent or dimensions. Uh, the three locations are at the guardhouse, which is the entry guardhouse, the south side of the existing 40... 4,466 square foot office building and between the proposed propane tanks and the existing greenhouse. Um, and so notes have been added to clarify this. These are three areas of concrete surfacing. Um, there is a concrete island here which provides a curb to protect the guardhouse um, uh, as well as define this space a little bit better. Uh, there is a concrete ramp um, for ADA access to this building. Um, that was necessary to add, um, and then uh, this was always called out as a generator. It's been clarified that it's a pad, a concrete pad mounted generator. So that generator um, This is uh, immediately next to the greenhouse, so it's closest to the barn um, that borders very close to our property. So I don't really necessarily remember that. When's the generator used? Uh, that's an emergency generator for emergency power and a power outage. Oh. Okay. Comment number nine, provide a detail for ground cover slash apron below the proposed propane tank. 
Um, so that's proposed to be um, crushed stone on a landscape fabric, and we've provided a detail and a call out to clarify that. Um, and the stormwater uh, analysis accounted for that is not vegetated. There's a slight difference in runoff characteristics. Comment number 10. Provide callouts for the proposed septic systems shown on the utility plan C-1.3. That call out was provided. Uh -huh. Comment number 11. Does the new processing building require water service? If so, please indicate on utility plan C-1.3. So we clarified the water utilities. The processing building requires both domestic water service, which is fed from the greenhouse itself, uh, which we have our backflow preventer and, and other equipment in there, um, and the fire water service uh, is on the same alignment that it was for the original building. Uh, it comes to the south uh, wall and enters the building. Uh, what has changed, which was um, both necessary because of congestion in the driveway utility-wise, um, as well as some recommendations for the water department, uh, I said not changed since the plans I submitted a month ago, but from six months ago, is that we are tapping into the water main uh, south of the what was formerly 196 Mill Village Road and entering site directly and then of course we provide a fire hydrant and then a fire protection service to that. Have you have you seen all these since you just we just got the letter today. Yeah, we, we it was received at 2 p.m. this afternoon. I uh, due to the nature of the comments, and many of them are either spelling or yeah. clarification, clarification plans, uh, you know, providing dimensions, those sort of things. Um, uh, most of those I can I can quickly scan through. Yeah. But uh, you know, with a plan that's turning on information that wasn't there previously, um, I, I I owe it to the town to give give it a, a final review okay. um, and and certainly provide the town with a letter yeah. that I've read through and uh, checked each you know yeah. item um, and so I, I certainly want the opportunity to, to complete that and provide yeah. it to the town yeah. but for most of these items you can see it you right could there. see they're yeah. pretty obvious or you know things are provided well, and what you just said, I'm, I'm, I would love you to, sorry, this is on the water service. I'm yes. still a little, con what was before then? You didn't, you were doing all domestic water before? You weren't no, having a hydrant? The, I don't understand that. Um, the, so the original approval yeah. had a fire protection water coming into this building. Okay. Um, the length from where it enters the site to the building was inadvertently omitted because I have multiple sets of drawings okay. going because we have exactly what's being built now, which doesn't include this building. Um, and then I forgot to connect the lines. Okay. So that, that was a plan error. The intention So it was, was there always, before. It was, it we've was seen that. It was in the original approval. Okay. It was left out on the revised okay. plan. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Yes. And one, this, this, Plan C1.3. Uh, That's the yes. detailed utility plan. Utility number plan. Number 12. Yeah. Is that number 12? So this C1.3. Mm -hmm. So this is on there. I don't see it. That's why I'm asking Joe to make sure he sees it on here. He, but he doesn't. That's what he's saying. It's not on there. No, he hasn't. That was the reason for the comment that that water line to the new building, the service, was not shown. Right. So now he says it's incorporated, and so you can see it. It's or, on those plans right there. It's on the the new. I know, and you can see it on the new plans. I yes, it's I, I haven't okay. I haven't gone through I'm every every item. single yeah detail, right. um, but that that's the reason for the the final review that I'd like to do yes. All right. and so and we verify. Can't okay. Accept this until we get that. Okay. All right, twelve. All right, comment number 12. The utility plan C-1.3 should be extended or an additional utility plan be added to show remaining site utilities along the southeast end of the parcel. Uh, this refers to propane tanks, generator, electrical, gas, conduit, et cetera. 
the utility plan C1-1.3 uh, uh, shows the what would be the upper right or the main uh, development area and we were asking that the remainder of the site uh, for the most part behind the new building uh, and any utilities associated with be be added um, to show the, the remainder of the, the site utilities. Uh, I'll, I'll back up one comment and note that on 1.3, this is the additional water line that's being discussed right here. Uh, that's the amended one. Correct. The one we just submitted. Yeah, that one there. Uh, yes. It was omitted in what was submitted a month ago. Um, and, and then you've added the next sheet. Oh, we did. So now mm -hmm. there's a there's C1.4, which just shows the other portion of the site. Uh, there's a note on this plan that this was always intended to show uh, essentially just power and water um, because this yard space got very, um, the plan got very dense uh, and, and so it's a blow up. Uh, the information is exactly the same. The call has been brought over. Um, but we've added this sheet 1.4 and the wetland planting plan had been 1.4. That's now been changed to 1.5. Mm -hmm. So those two plans are next to each other. Yeah, I would love to stick with that. That's on the next one. The on next one. One point. One four. Yeah. One point four. Yeah. Yeah. So those are yeah. these here, and this is the extension of the greenhouse in the back and the main area of the greenhouse. Mm. So they're between uh, the two buildings, the greenhouse and the new proposed building. Correct. Yeah. That's, that's what we talked about earlier, and it's, not there. it's that first page you can see the whole site plan better, and, and the yeah. fire department said they don't need to go into the propane so, tanks? Yeah, it's a little clearer on here. The, the, yeah, the, the, the fire department specifically does not want to send personnel into this area if there's a fire. Um, that they're planning on how to attack from both this location and this location, and it asked for a number of... Um, of additional site features beyond what the code for these tanks require in order to allow those multiple options for, for protecting it. Yeah. Okay, comment number 13. On the planting plan, C-1.1, 33 Arborvitae along the northern property boundary with 202 Mill Village Road that were on the prior approved plan have been eliminated. Will this be replaced by an alternate type of screening? So this is this area right here. Um, so what we had previously proposed was along, uh, so this agricultural field, I'll note, is in common ownership with our lot. It's actually now the same lot because we've done ANR. Mm -hmm. And the original plan uh, called for screening along this property line uh, because we didn't own this land. At the time, we did not realize that Pioneer Gardens, which has a long-term lease on this property, also has a long-term lease and farms this property. And so we discussed this area with them. Uh, for, I'll come back to the microphone. Uh, and so there are um, issues on both sides that, that uh, caused both of us to actually want to eliminate that hedge. From our side, uh, there's, there's a, an either or problem where if the hedge is inside the fence, we've now created blind spots, which the security team did not like. If we have the hedge outside of the fence, um, it now borders land that we don't own, and so there's, it's a minor concern, but there is a maintenance concern. We talked it over with Aryan. Again, I'm happy to submit something from him if, if it's necessary to verify, um, but he actually preferred to not have a hedge. He says, well, we always prefer no hedges um, with the um, uh, farming there. Um, and who's, then, the, who's, the lease, who's the landowner then? Why are we? So that's this property here, and then I've also submitted photos that there is dense screening already between the residential part of that lot and the agricultural field. So, so that is a residential piece. This is all agricultural field back here. This is APR land, I believe. I can't say that for certain, um, which is on a common lot with a residential piece. So. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And so I, my understanding is Pioneer leases the entirety of this lot, which is where one of their fields is. So you so you had a question about they're okay. renting it, but who owns it? Yeah, and that's does it matter to, to the owner? Does it matter to the owner? That's that's uh -huh. Richard Samaski's. So it's in APR, but it's not. Well, according to that map up there, the APR, there's a landlock piece. It's yep. not APR, and that's the parcel he's talking about that has a 99 year lease. Okay. Right. From the Samaski family. Right. I guess I shouldn't have speculated about the APR. Yeah. Was, that was a guess on my part. I shouldn't have. It's not. It's not APR. And if you look at the original yeah. land they have up there. So it's just a leased prop. Lease farm properties. Yeah, they're, they they're in. piece of property that Pioneer Gardens could access because they owned it, but now that it's changed hands, they don't own access yep. anywhere around. Yep. So they need to get to it. Yep. So I'm just also thinking visually over to Ch Child's Crossroad, how far? Well, on the far side of this field, there is a large hedge. Okay, so that's that's not the one we're talking about. Okay, because right. I knew that's there was a hedge over there. Hedge. Okay, that's an existing hedge. So from Child's Crossroads, you just see a hedge. You don't right. see this you building at all. You can't see the greenhouse at all from Child's Cross today. I think we're we're in a little murky ground in that while if we hear from Aryan and from Pioneer Gardens that the hedge is not necessarily, but the landowner. I don't you think we need to hear from the landowner? I feel like there's a similarity. Yes, but I'm just saying that uh, because the property, because he only um, has a lease on part of the property. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, because we approved, the, we approved the, the site plan with that in it, so if it's going to be changed, we should get the, 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 the butters should be yeah. notified, and we yeah. should know that. So To make sure they're specifically aware of yeah. the change. Yes. So if, if Arjun can write a letter in, get them to write one, yes. he can help draft That's fair. it. That'd be great. Yeah, because this is... No, that's what you're saying. That's right? why we want to hear from the land owner, especially since they don't lease the whole property; they only lease part of the property. Right. All right. One more. Comment number fourteen: uh, provide a dewatering basin detail. That's been added to one of the detail sheets. So that's on what, which? And that's the end of the comments. Which sheet is that on? Um, let's see. It's uh, toward the end. Uh, sheet 2.2, detail number nine. And that drainage. What's a dewatering basin? That's drainage. Um, Thank you. If there's water in an excavation, that needs to be pumped Drained. out uh, okay. in order to keep digging, and that sediment-laden water needs to be settled so got that it. it doesn't pollute waterways. Got it, got it, got it. Dewatering. say was the planting point? Five. One point five? One point four, five. One point one. one, point one. Oh. oh. Sorry. I thought you said one point five. No, no. I did I did I say that was wrong. I'm just looking at what's what is the planting on the south side by the propane tanks because since this was those propane tanks weren't on the original thing so there's yeah. a barn um, five feet off the property line the entire length of um, of the site so we had never proposed 
uh, any screening along this property line um, because there's a building uh, essentially shielding everything. There's an existing hedge from this point forward uh, that's being maintained and there are some gaps in the hedge here and here that we were filling in uh, with additional plantings. Um, and in fact, uh, I believe yeah, we've, we've set a fence line here to make sure that, um, that there's uh, access to maintain um, the back side of this. Um, if, if there's only five feet to the, to the barn, you may need a little bit more than that um, for Steve to get back there. So I guess that's, do you, do you have any comments about that? Well, they're, they're set back from their property right. line. Mm -hmm. yeah. The setback for the, the greenhouse, but they took part of it down. Right, so right. So that actually right. gives so them more the, room. Yeah. The yeah. existing greenhouse was only 10 feet off the line, which uh, violates the zoning for marijuana, but not for agriculture. Right. Right. So, um, and that's already been demolished, um, the existing, or the new greenhouse um, on that side, uh, the final right. face has been put on. I mean, I was just thinking that for a, But the greenhouse, people don't necessarily need screening, but for the propane tanks, people might want more screening. But in this case, the barn's gonna be there for a long time, hopefully. <laughs> the propane, uh, propane, somebody said earlier, the propane tanks were gonna be underground? No. No, they're No, these are right, above ground. Yeah. All above ground. Correct. Okay. Yeah. How high are they going to be? Uh, so I don't want to misquote this. So I'd ask Kirk to, to verify that. This is Kirk Baker from Somerset Engineering, who's our consultant for the tanks specifically. The tanks are about nine foot in diameter. They're horizontal tanks. They'll be sitting on piers or boxes. Right. Uh, they're about three feet above the ground. So that would be three or four In comparison, the site of the greenhouse is about 14 feet, I believe. How long are these tanks? Approximately 60 feet. Mm -hmm. That's what they have. <clears throat> All right, so each tank is 15,000 gallons? Uh, the tanks are 30,000 gallons each. Total oh, 60,000. Very good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Side by side. And all the uh, to fill them is on the inside. I'm, I'm assuming is uh, the what? Where, where do you fill them from, and where all the sure. all the pipes and everything are on the sort of inside? Yeah. So there's yeah. a fill point here, accessible from the road, mm -hmm. um, and then there is some equipment. Uh, when the tanks are this size, uh, they actually need to be pumped. They can't just and uh, evaporate on their own. Um, and so there's some equipment on the north side of these tanks mm -hmm. uh, in this location here. And of course, all surrounded by pollards for protection. And did we talk about any noise issues? We must have talked about that originally, but. Um, no, because we weren't talking about propane. Well, we weren't no. talking about propane. So like hours of when they can be filled and things like that, or when they can be worked on. Yeah. Can you come up? Yeah. yeah. So, well, I, I guess the other question is, and I got an email today saying that the select board is in charge of approving or disapproving the actual permit for the storage tanks, and they ha they have some issues, um, which I don't know what they are. You mean for the, for these propane tanks? Yeah. Right. So, I, I mean, I can tell you about the the permit process, which started. Uh, you know, we've been uh, working on plans for the tanks since the summer. Um, yeah. And the first step uh, is the, well, sort of the, the first formal step is an application to the select board for what's called a land license. I believe that's required for storage of propane over 2,000 gallons. Um, so that's uh, a license that, that they're asked to grant periodically. Um, and that application is also required to be signed by the fire chief. Um, so in advance of submitting that application, we went through all of these plans with the fire chief. Uh, as I mentioned, um, added uh, some uh, features in addition, or uh, you know, 
allowed for certain uh, modifications based on his comments. Um, the select board, uh, should they grant a land license for storage, uh, that license then gets packaged with a second application, uh, which goes to the state fire marshal's office, which includes a detailed fire safety plan, which is put together both between the design team and the fire department, uh, in addition to detailed design plans for the tanks themselves, the site plan, um, schematic layout of all of the piping and the foundations. Those all get reviewed by the state fire marshal's office, and should they approve it, uh, the construction and installation is then inspected by the fire marshal. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, there's follow-up inspections on a, on a statutory basis. And everything having to do with the tanks is also governed by a fire code uh, in the state of Massachusetts, which is NFA, which, well, the state code adopts um, mm -hmm. NFPA 58, which okay. includes a number of setbacks for different portions um, of that system, which we have to comply with. One of the reasons why the building was shrunk as much as it is, is we have to be 50 feet from the tanks with any building or property line with land that may be built upon. Um, and then the, both the transfer point um, and a few other items have their own setbacks that we have to respect both with the tanks themselves and other facilities. When we first learned of the, the large scale propane, we didn't really talk about it a whole lot as far as uh, you know, the need, it was more uh, when they did the calculations of what they wanted, they wanted like almost a full season supply on hand because of power failure possibilities and stuff like that. Uh, not a full season, actually. Uh, I, I can speak to that a little bit. Um, we did submit a letter to the select board. I, I guess we should have, could have copied you on it, um, but didn't, uh, detailing where we came up with that number. Um, so we start with uh, the 60,000 gallon volume, which is not the amount of storage that we can actually keep in those tanks. You can only fill them to 85%. Um, so 15% of them, when full, is still empty. Um, and then the tanks, and Kirk can go into the, the details of it if, if you're interested, um, but the, the reliability of pumping the gas out of the tanks actually starts to diminish rapidly when they um, are uh, empty below 25%. Um, so that working volume of gas in a 60,000 gallon tank is actually quite a bit less than 40%. Yeah. Um, and so then we look at the max max peak load of the facility, which presumably happens in, in a nasty cold snap um, when we need to keep this multi-million dollar crop alive through the winter. At full load, with all of the heaters going, uh, we require 18 million BTUs an hour of propane. That's in addition to the natural gas, which we're already maximizing what was pumped into the greenhouse. Um, and so at peak load, that's uh, a little bit shy of 5,000 gallons a day we could be going through. That's not every day, that's not most days, but under the peak load, and that's what our reliability is built upon. And so those 60,000 gallon tanks actually only get us seven to eight days at that peak load. Um, and so when we look at the reliability and again the value of the crop, uh, that's, that's what led us down this road. It's not arbitrary, it's, it's not um, trying to pack as much in there as we could. There's, there's a reason for it. Um, and just at the select board, we're gonna go through, uh, through this thoroughly, I'm sure. Um, that's the proposal well, as it stands this, now. This green crop is not turning out to be very green. <laughs> I was going to say. If you're going to go through all that fuel, just why not build, a, spend the money and build a building that will hold the heat better instead of just letting it go through plastic? Uh, it seems yeah, and, a bit and ridiculous and to me, but. I, I suspect the calculation is. But I guess is, if they smoke enough pot, they won't care about global warming. <laughs> um, I have to talk to Al Gore. Yeah, and I he's, think the, the calculation high. without you know, that heat of the sun is probably even worse, but I, that's not my area of expertise. I, I only have the inputs that they give me. Well, I don't, th it, I don't really know. I, I do believe that uh, Chris is correct that it's a select board that issued that thing, but I sure know I wouldn't want to live next to 60,000 gallons of propane. I see what happens if a, just a regular house line ruptures. Yeah, I mean, I, all I can say is that there's a very extensive safety code um, associated with it that, that we've complied with to the team. All right. So, then any questions on our um, 
peer review. No? Well, do we have to continue this um, public hearing? To well, we'd at least have to make a condition on um, getting the. We would, we would much prefer report. a condition yeah. of approval. Um, sounds like sounds like that. Whatever the board sure. would like, of course. Too much. Yeah. And is that that's the fire department? Um, and then yes. what were the other the options that have to be? Fire department, the plan. We, we just want a condition that we see. Um, Joe's final report. Weston and Sampson, West and Sampson verify the right. plan was altered, uh, revised correctly. Fire department letter, and then at Frank's uh, Weston Sampson and Webson's final and approval of everything you've done. Is that, and then is a that letter, correct? and then a letter from the neighbor about the, the, the hedges on the northern yeah. side. So that's three that's, items. That's item 13 there. And letter from the neighbor. The water service. Yeah. I asked this at the beginning. I saw there was a land transfer in the neighbor. So who was actually getting the permits? Do you know, Chris, who's getting the, who, who owns this now? So the ownership is through, I'm going to quote this the best I can, the ownership of the land is through a, a, an LLC dedicated to the real estate ownership known as Go Grizz, Go Grizz, which is associated with Sons Mass Inc. Sons Mass Inc. is the applicant who is oper owning and operating the greenhouse and, and is the business. Um, it's, you know, it's not an unusual situation. Our, our company, Berkshire Design Group, is the company that operates for Allen Place, which is actually owned by one of our partners through a through a separate right. LLC. So the second question is: So what if you decide to go back to the original plan, and increase if things get better? I'm assuming you're scaling back because the market's not where it was, where you predicted it to be. So you scale back. So what if the market gets better again, and how does all this change? Yeah, so I, I can't comment on the exact reasons for changing the, the side of the building. That's people who pay my, my bills when I send them out and, and not me. Um, but yes, I mean, if, if this plan is approved, this is the plan on record. And if we were to make any substantive changes to it, we'd have to be back here. Yeah. You know, so, and I think I heard also that part of the change in the smaller building was because of the propane tanks, not necessarily the lack of product sales. So, but um, I mean, that's a, a question we all have, and that's something that um, you know everybody talks about is if if this whole thing goes bust in a couple of years, do you end up with a big empty building? I mean, I, I think one of the things we like about this is it's a greenhouse; it can be used for other things in the future. You know, but. Um, that's that's not our decision. That's that's the only. Chris, you don't know the size of the new building that's going that's proposed. I mean, it's going to be moved because of the tanks or size down. Right. So what, what's represented on the plan is essentially the maximum footprint that we can build while respecting the um, the setbacks <coughs> from the tanks. Um, and the, the direction we were given by the client and the architects is maximize that footprint and we're going to fill it as efficiently as we can for the processes that we need. Um, Paul, one other. We wanted to see the plans as they come in. We yes. wanted to see the plans. I think we want that as a condition as well. Is that the four? How many conditions? Prior to what? the issuance of a building permit. Right. That was um, number the one. The plans for the building, right. Yeah. So they haven't been submitted. So that's part of the deal is to see that before. So it's a condition. Before Any other comments from the public? It's going to be a non-smoking facility. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, they there, there's, as are all, well, there, there, there's both a joke there, but uh, they, they do take very seriously no, no use on campus. <laughs> and you can't vape now anyway, so. So is that, does that make four items that we're talking about here? Then? So read the, do you mind just reading the four so that? I have the fire department letter. Yep. The Weston and Sampson's final approval of yep. all of the differences here. The letter from the neighbors. Yep. And then the plans for building before a building permit is issued. And we might want a, from the neighbor and the leasee, just so that sure. they're, they're talking to each other. It seems that they're. Neighbor and who else? Neighbor and, and the leasee. leasee. 
Yeah. And what's the name of the company? Pioneer, Pioneer Gardeners Gardner, is yeah. leasing them. Because they'll still be there even when the land gets sold, as far as yeah. I know. Okay, so. Uh, so neighbor and uh, Butter and Pioneer Gardens, maybe just right And there. Pioneer Gardens, okay. I'll add uh, that to the third regarding item. Regarding the lack of hedges. Or the change in hedges. Excellent. Anything else? Planning board members? Okay. Grow, anything else? Good, good, good. All right. Um, in the public, yes. He knew he was going to say something. <laughs> About the hedge, I know you want a letter from the neighbor say it's okay. But that they're appraised. Don't have the hedge on the north side. So are we giving the neighbor the right to veto this plan? They own the property. Well, what we're asking is... on the original property. Go ahead, sorry. No, they, they, you can say it. Just, that's my point. It is on the original plan, right, that's, so we've already approved it with the hedge. And there is a hedge that goes along the, the, the property up there going, is that north going up? Yeah. So there's a hedge right there behind the, yeah, the house. So there's, there's an existing hedge on our property, which is then basically continuous onto the next property. Okay. So that's, that was basically there for what Pioneer Gardens was doing. Prior. Correct. Um, and it just extended out for what you're doing too. Okay. Actually, before, before I have another question, does, um, this is a public hearing. Was notification sent to a Butters? Yes, by the town. All right, so, all right, so that. But there's one that got sent back, which is. Is it from that? <laughs> yes, Dick Smirowski, so that's the okay. one that. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the Just public saying. hearings is you want to have the public informed of changes. And since, you know, this was kind of an expedited process, we just feel like it would be good for the, for the uh, butters to, to really spell, be clear about the revisions, what the revisions are. How do you spell their name on that? It's Mirowski. Can, can, Here, can sit down. So we're looking for notice to the abutters. I guess that's a good question. Yeah. If, if we provide notice and they don't respond versus... Yeah, but I mean, this is notice, and they didn't respond because yeah. they didn't get it. Right. Yeah. So we want to know but if we can if we can prove that they did receive proper notice of the plan and have the chance to to yeah, tell I mean, the planning board. You know, I don't if, if, you know if you can't get them, I don't want that to hold up the project. So I guess that's a valid return receipt requested, and they were unable to forward this to to anyone. But I would also say that if, if Pioneer I mean, Gardens gonna, is, if Pioneer Gardens is leasing of, this, then they must know how to reach yeah. the owners yeah. of the property. So. I yeah. trust Arjun will be able to figure that out. <laughs> and no, I guess not to um, veto the project, but to indicate, you know, the, what the their concerns are. Yeah. Well, it's a change. So, so, so just giving them notice of the meeting, would that suffice? I mean, they've already gotten notice of the meeting. Or well, what we're looking at is no, they didn't. It didn't. It came back to it us. Didn't reach yeah, because yeah. uh, it was sent to the the address there. But they're that's, not not they they're, that's not where, how you write. It's co-owned by the heirs. You're right, the heirs. Yeah. Yeah. I, I guess the question is that we're going to work through REN and the mail and whatever means necessary to yeah. ensure that they do receive notice. We'll provide whatever evidence we need to prove to the board that we've provided notice. And if they simply don't respond to it, um, what is the default? I mean, I is the default of her? No, I, I think it's pretty clear. I mean, yeah. if, if they respond and they don't care, you don't put the hedge up. If they respond and they w would like the hedge, you put the hedge up. Yeah. If you get no response, you don't put the hedge up and we're good. all good. I think that's all just, that's what we wanted to clear. What's the default if, if yeah. we try as hard as we can and nothing yeah. happens? And, and yeah, yeah. That's, that sounds good. So the notice that you want us to give them is that the original plan has been, has been revised. Yeah. <laughs> Is that Correct. Right? Yes. Yeah. Anything else? So, um, you know, we meet in a month, but it would be fine. I think we could probably make a motion on this and with the condition of the four things that Paul wrote down, if anybody wants to do that or if there's any other. Uh. 
Can we just clarify that it's not a letter from the neighbors, but it's providing notice to the neighbors? Originally, it was said as a letter, so I want to make sure. Say that again. Originally, it was stated as a letter from the neighbors and the leasee, but what we just said was they need to provide notice. Yeah. Written, written confirmation from the leasee. Right. And, and some verification that the property owner was notified. So in other words, send it as a certified in some fashion or something, is that what you mean? The other one came back. So. I know. All right. Maybe we should just I mean, it can't it. be that hard to find them. They're going to sell the property. I know. You're making it more difficult. Arjun can find them. We trust them. He'll find What's them. What's that? And, you know, or not. Well, so. the post office couldn't find them, apparently. Well, well, if, we're, if we're going to find them, but <laughs> if you find them, you, you have something you want them to sign, tell them that, to sign That'll it. be the cleanest. We're certainly yeah. going to try to do that. And if you can't, then, then we have to just... Uh, yeah, but yeah. that letter is only informing there's a public hearing. It's right. not saying what the changes are. No, right. Exactly. So, and, and originally that hedge was there. Now they don't want to put it in. So right. I would think you need more than just them just being say, notified. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I, I think a, I think some sort of notification okay. so that they provide, have been. So if you provide a letter and somebody gets yeah. a hold of that person and gets them to sign right. it off, then that's probably the cleanest way, right? That's, I agree. Yeah. So, so the sign off would be confirmation that the letter letter is received. No, that they're no. okay without the hedge. Without they no. agree or didn't agree with the hedge. I, I think so. we're saying that the 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 hedge situation is the issue. Yeah. Yes, it's so not, the notice dramatic. that should be given to the neighbor the cat seller is that there's been a revision in the plan. Right. Giving them the opportunity to the hedge there. Right. And, and the hedge is the only thing, right? And if they object, you put the hedge in. Them, right? It's given yeah, them. the hedge is the only issue. Yes, but you're not going to require us to come in here with something signed by the neighbor. Why not? Yeah, that's what we need some kind of confirmation. We can't somebody no. sign something. Yeah. I mean, but then we have a problem. The, the, the plan they had the had the hedge. <laughs> but how do we know they have the opportunity unless we get they something? They did get the opportunity because they did well, get Had the they bothered to leave a forwarding address, they would have gotten So we're asking you to go track them down, so okay? We, we're all. going we're <laughs> Let's get, to We're going to put it all on you now. Changed. You find them. Get and them to sign. We have the opportunity to I'm express any that. concerns to the planning board. Um, yep. And then if they come to you with the concerns, then we will keep the hedge in. All right. So you're going to get them to tell us, yes. And there is a deadline, in, you know, to get it done, right? Well, the I condition is on, on approval. Construction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Anything else? So, motion? Uh, I move that we uh, close our public hearing. Oh, good call. Thank you. Anybody want to second that one? Aye. Second. Good. That. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose, abstain. Six zero zero to close the public hearing. Would the uh, anybody like to make a motion? And that was moved by uh, Rachel. Ma Rachel. Ma and Ma and Rachel. Mary. And seconded by Ann Mary. 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 We didn't hear from the propane guy. Yeah, a little bit. No, he's back there. Do we want to discuss this more? Or does anybody want to make a motion? Make a motion. I'll make a motion that we approve the plans with the conditions as written, written in the notes for conditions. Yeah. So Rachel moves. Yep. And who's seconding? Well, first to get the motion to approve this revised site plan. Revised site dated plan. Dated October, October 7th. 7th, today. 2019. October 7th, 2019. 2019. To approve plans dated nineteen with with conditions. Conditions. Okay. And we'll we'll put that in. Up. We'll put that in here for these these four issues. Right. Thank you. Into this. Uh, in the, okay. We have a second. 
Don't leave me hanging, guys. I second that. Thank you. Not be hanging. <laughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oppose? <clears throat> Abstain? Six zero zero. Six zero zero. Yeah. They all loved your motion. They just didn't want to jump on it, I guess. Somehow. Yeah. You can't be a winner every time. Thank you. Right. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. When uh, can I just ask? When are you going to the select board again? Uh, with, oh, good luck. Okay. And then you had to go to the concom still too. We did concom. Okay. Thank you, Joe. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. It. So when Joe, you'll get it in the next few days, or? Not that I don't enjoy hanging. All right. Thanks. No, I know. We're so charming. If we do say so. <laughs> and we have to most of the time. <laughs> No, she, she said she supports what we do. What was her name? Uh, oh, okay. 838. Do you have the uh, sign in? Yeah, yeah, it's right here. What's the company? Kurt, uh, no, no, Kurt no, Baker. No, the other guy. Propane. That's Kurt, Kurt, Kurt no, Baker. No, forget yeah, Do you have a card? Oh, I don't know who you have. That's all right. We've got you. Oh, oh okay. who you uh, who you getting the propane from? You know, he's right there. Parts Probably this guy. Well, who's this guy? Hopefully, this guy. Uh, George Propane. George Propane. Okay. Yeah. It's not. I don't think it's. It's not a done deal yet. But, yet but, all right, but you seem interested. Good. We have right. premium propane. You're what? You should speak that in the microphone. Premium. <laughs> premium. Free, free advertisement here. Premium <laughs> propane. All right. So the name of this business is George's George. Oh, George's and propane. And he sells, he declares, yeah. it's okay. an advertisement. Yeah. Okay. All, right. All right, old Deerfield 3 solar project. Is it really 3? The number at the end of Old Frontier 3, yeah, because we had looked at old two Frank other sites. So oh, okay. It was the third of the ones we looked at, and somehow the name stuck. Grab just, just use a chair. Okay. okay. If you're yeah, yeah, yeah. A There's chair. a chair. The camera those can, those uh, chairs work pretty well. The camera can move in on it. All right, let's pull, let's, uh, yeah. uh, let's hold up this one. Yeah. Okay. Old tier three, you know where this is? Right on set right road. Okay. Hmm? Nobody's here. Oh, yay. Yeah, even better. What? Um, is anybody not going to take your that letter home with them? Really? <laughs> I want to put one of them in the back. Holy moly. Yeah, Who knew? Me. <laughs> right there? Yeah, in fact. What was that picture in the back for? Oh, that's to show that the hedge. There is that thick hedge that he was talking about. Oh, okay. All right. Good. Oh, that's it down there. Is it there or there? All right. Thank you, folks, oh, for I know, but it used to be. sitting through that. And I hope you learned a lot about <laughs> some marijuana yeah. facility. More about yeah, marijuana and the, propane than I uh, planned on learning about tonight, so I'm, I'm educated. Mm -hmm. Right. Hey, can you guys put solar on that building? Oh, well, okay. Right there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it will it's be got solar ready. Yeah, yeah. So we got a, um, a phone call that um, old Deerfield solar project would like to make some revisions to the site plan and they, they potentially could be minor but the building inspector said they should come back to the planning board to see if we want to have a full blown uh, public hearing and review them again or it's just something we that's just a tweak that we can just kind of approve yeah so great uh, I'll give a quick uh, overview of it yep good evening everybody Scott Reamer with hexagon energy and Old Frontier Solar 3. Um, it's not Old Deerfield, actually, it's Old Frontier. I think there is a little miscommunication there. Oh, right, that's the difference. But um, quick update on the project. We have received qualification mm -hmm. underneath the Massachusetts Smart Program to build the project, which is actually not trivial because the entire thing had opened last November. We applied within the first week, the first opening, 
and we just got approval in the very tail end of it. So the program filled up and new projects are gonna have to wait until the state revises the plan. So we are thrilled to be able to be in on the, um, on the first round of it. So that's great news as far as all of this goes. Now I'm gonna... Do you want me to flip the page one? Yeah, I don't, I'm just trying to think if I need a mic. Can I, if I speak loudly, can people hear me? I don't know, it depends on... Maybe you just turn that mic around there and yeah. kind, of, kind of use that as your... So, Really, what we're, what we're doing tonight is brought about from uh, Eversource, a conversation that we had with them recently. They requested that we revise our point of interconnection and also our access road. So originally on our plans, The panels are remaining the same. The panel layout, this is the fence line. Um, you just can, you, can you give us the broader area again so new, new people can oh, know sure, where, where sure, we're talking sorry. about? Um, this is Conway Road runs right here, and then Set Right Road branches off of it. And there's this sort of elbow knee right here of Set Right Road, and then this is all active farmland. Um, this way there's, a, there's an existing but poor quality um, roadway along here. It, it is Set Right Road, it's a town owned poor quality. It's just, a, it needs some little repairs. Um, uh, along this area, it's, it's a town owned land, uh, piece of property. And our project, uh, so 91 runs right right here along this side. Thanks. Um, and we're clear, we're clear of wetlands, we've been, we've been through all of this. It was just a conversation with Eversource. Our original site plan, uh, and I only unfortunately have one copy of an 11 by 17 of it, but I can show you here really quickly what, what it involved. It involved us running buried power lines from here mm -hmm. to this point at the, mm -hmm. the end. Mm -hmm. We have an easement with this landowner. Not, mm -hmm. We don't own the property or we're not leasing it, but we have an easement right of way with him to bury the power lines and connect our four power poles right here to the existing power line. Mm -hmm. Eversource recently um, told us, I'm not quite sure why they didn't catch this on the first round because it would have been an easy fix, but this is how it goes, uh, told us that they want our meter, the place we measure the electrical power, they would need it to be on the same parcel as the project. I, no justification given, they just said that's how they wanted things to be. So we looked at a few different options, and one thought was that maybe we could just move all of these meters back to here, but they want, if we were to do that, they'd want a whole roadway to run along this area as well, and we didn't really want to build an extra road given, as, given the whole dirt uh, upgrade that we needed to do as well. So what we talked with them about instead was moving, instead of the point of interconnection being here and bit running buried lines along this way, instead moving it up along Set Right Road, so to the point where um, this goes from, con it goes from a, uh, asphalt concrete road to dirt, to right at that point making our interconnection, because that's where the power lines terminate right now anyway, mm -hmm. just connect where those lines terminate. We'll still bury the power lines across the field here. But what's pretty exciting about this is, uh, I think, a couple things. Um, one, it's great for us because it means we build less, less roadway. Two, we move these power poles from kind of a more prominent position to much more um, less prominent and actually shaded because there's a big tree hedge right here. I'll show you a picture of that in a second. So our proposal is just to bear, move the lines, bury them here at the bottom of this little hill, put the interconnection poles here, and make our access road, instead of running up set right road, running down, <coughs> excuse me, and then goosenecking into the site like we had originally done, um, to just make our access point run directly along this, this roadway. Um, there's, a, there's a little hill here, there's existing trees that you can see marked, and I'll show you a picture of what I'm talking about for the camera and for the board. Oh, I'm trying to connect the wires on here. This, let's see if I can find it. This is the barn mm -hmm. that exists right here. This is that barn. We're proposing running, our original road was proposed to run out along right in front of that barn. We're proposing pulling it in closer to this tree line and running it right below it. So actually visibility is gonna go significantly down um, because you can see this, this significant tree hedge right here. Now that's this summer, that's when I went out to take a picture. So in the winter it's presumably gonna be a little bit less filled in but there's still quite a few trees there. So basically we're proposing that we shorten our access road route and move our point of interconnection um, due to Eversource requesting it. But it seems like one of those things that actually kind of works out best for all parties. That's really, you know, we're not adding any more 
impervious area with this, so stormwater has no impact. Um, visibility actually decreases for everybody, and the number of truckloads for bringing new gravel in, because now instead of having to upgrade all of this portion of Set Right Road, we don't have to bring that gravel in now. It's a much shorter roadway. So actually, the number of truck trips decreases as well. Truck trips decrease, but you're going to dig up along Set Right? How, how are you at? Oh, the point's there already. Yeah, this point's there already. Yeah, this is okay. this is a, an existing. We'll we'll reinforce it because mm -hmm. it's if you've seen the asphalt out there, it's a little oh, iffy yeah. and has some grass growing through it. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll reinforce that part part, but we mm -hmm. won't be actually adding anything in, new to the area. So, so just. But your point of access for construction, we figured what was something like seventy truck truck tr tr trucks. Yeah, tr yeah. Is still a long set right. It is, but it's it's instead of going up set right all this way, mm -hmm. it's just down. Okay. Now, are you going to put your meters out there, or do you have to go all the way back with the road the, there? The meters, because it's on the same parcel, this is all one parcel, the meters can sit here, and every oh, source good. is okay with good. it. Okay. And that's, that's why we, yeah. why yeah. talking with them, this seemed to be what they preferred. Um, so that, that, that's our Why didn't request. you go with that in the first place? Because, and I, I, as soon as we had this talk with the uh, Eversource, I started scratching my set head and said, why not? Mm -hmm. Because there is an existing dirt road that right. was going to require full reinforcement, but we just thought it was going to be easier to, to use that existing road. As it turns out, it, we would have had to rebuild some of this anyway because the access was off of our parcel. So it would have not been a, <laughs> we should have gone with this the first time around, basically. Mm -hmm. lesson, lesson learned. Um, so that does seem like it's bringing the whole project, not the project, not the solar, yeah. but it feels like it's bringing that project back to the landowners, mm -hmm. I mean, the residential community that's right there that's not necessarily visible mm -hmm. there. But So what's the impact on them? No, it's just the road. It's just the road, it's right? It's only the road. There is no change at all. Yeah. The yeah, there's okay. no location. The fence line remains exactly Everything's the same. same. Everything's the same. It's, it's simply just a, a change in access. And like I said, you know, I don't know the exact number in change of trips, but whatever the delta of mm -hmm. this much built yeah. up gravel is subtracted from the yeah. amount of gravel we need to ship in. Um, so I talked with the building inspector. He was very supportive of the idea. He just thought it was a little bit much of a, of a change for him to unilaterally sign off on. So that's why I'm here in front of you guys tonight, um, hoping that it's a minor change so we can hopefully get this thing built starting, I think, next year, uh, early next year. I, any questions? So the new driveway access road is not across from any homes. How, how where is the closest yeah. home? It's on the, the west. Home, it's, that right. it's on the other side of this hill, so there are homes here. Right. Oh, but along that right. corner I'm familiar with that area. And there's homes that go right along that straight away. Mm -hmm. They end they the property line ends here. Um, so or yeah, the property line of a home ends here. Yeah, that here. seems about right. So this is this is where I would when I, that picture I showed you I was standing right here right so the home is down this way and we're on the other side of the tree screens yes yeah, so um, it drops off I'm drops familiar. off and then yeah. you get that tree buffer um, on top of it I didn't know if that neighbor would object because now the roadway is not 200 feet not down. as far right right right, right, right. That's yeah yeah I I do not know actually that I'm would be the reason I would but, but the only thing with that too is that once it's constructed I mean Nobody no. goes there. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I think we all, or at least I felt that way in the original plans. That yeah, there's going to be a minimum amount of traffic yeah. there, I yeah. agree. Well, that, that, that power that. meter is going to be read over the it, over the telephone system, right? Yeah. In uh, cat, cat cell phone. Mm -hmm. So nobody's going to go out and actually look at that mm -hmm. meter anyways. I'm not sure why it makes a difference where it is. But <laughs> it's not that I know. I that, 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 I, I, I'm yeah. with you there. I don't yeah. know why it makes a difference over there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they, but they, the old they, access they road will remain. The old, yeah, the old, the old farm road there will remain. We won't be upgrading it. But. Well, my sense is that um, since I think those landowners need to know about this, I don't think we make this change without, I mean, no notices have been sent, and I think that those landowners would be appreciative of notification of these changes. So I don't, I don't feel totally, I, I kind of, with the building inspector on that, not that the plan has a, any greater impact on them, potentially less from your point of view, I agree. Um, but I think that they should be, they should be in the loop. I don't think it's a change that, they were so um, active at the time. Okay. 
Yeah. That's my sense now. I don't know. I don't know how we go about that. I don't know if that means a whole new permitting process. Or Could we do something similar as you did with the uh, earlier um, hearing where um, you we can close the hearing tonight and we have no, an open one. Or yeah, we, not, this is not okay. Open. So well, or could we make this contingent on us contacting um, that particular landowner and just Those just landowners. one landowner? Oh, yeah. I would. Con I'd contact them all. I mean, I just think they can't even there. Corner down. Yeah, there they're all here. here. Yep. Originally. Yeah, there's there's this set. I mean, and I just. You know, I, I, I hate to open it up again because I know there was some objection, but at the same time, I feel like um, to be a, a legitimate process, we opened it up the first time. It would need to be another public hearing, but I just think it's it's a uh, and I because the permit has already been um, approved. It's not a matter of you know, it's not a matter of um, reneging on that approval. What do you but, see as the difference in the impact? Fewer trucks. But didn't he say that there are going to be fewer trucks? Mm -hmm. this during, during the construction. construction. Just, just in construction. And it's not going to change the amount of times. And I imagine somebody must have to go there once a week to check on the facility. Uh, it's about once a month and a half is about oh, okay. when yeah. somebody it's goes out there. Door. Now, is that, is that interconnect really, point that's there where it curls up and goes to like a hammer? They, they right there. Uh, uh, where it will okay. be back here to your... Right, right oh, there. Right that's yeah. the that's the closest point to the panels that you connect yeah. the power, and, the, and it was going to go up and then over. It goosenecked up and over like this previously. And so then the other option here to stick with what you had is to put the meter out there. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, we could we could do that. We could we could run this whole roadway up here and and just move the move the meter. And if honestly, if it avoids a public hearing, that's what we'll do, um, because we just we got to be able to get this done and built and all the approvals done. It, Time, time sensitive really matters right, here, right, 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 um, right. and so we, we would do that if that could count as a minor change to move mm -hmm. move those up there. Um, this just seemed like a lot more obvious of a of a path forward. Mm -hmm. um, so you couldn't have the the meters where you're proposing them now. We're we're the roadway there. We're pushing on Eversource to try and leave that option open because they should have told us this at the beginning, mm -hmm. um, and it it is what it is. But um, we're, we thought this was a, a, a much easier approach for all parties, for us, for the town, for the neighbors. Well, it makes yeah. sense for you, for sure. Yeah. yeah. But again, you're not going to see a, a large um, a roadway up fully graded out here. It's going to be hidden by those trees right in that area and that, and that drop. So visibility and the same is with much this, less. With this design, it, it will drop down um, elevation-wise, uh, I'm correct. Yeah, the elevation drops. Right. So the road elevation is at 240. Once they make that turn, within within less than 50 feet, they've dropped down to 235. So in effect, that roadway is completely. I mean, the neighbor will simply not. Um, there won't be any visual no, impact. Is that an existing visible. road of some kind already? No, uh, no it's just, no. It, it's an, well, it is. He uses it for farming, but it's not a road. It's a, it's a path that he uses <laughs> yeah. on the edge of the field. But, yeah, there is but an actual road. Ground. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I, I get your point, and I'm actually, I'm happy to go to talk with the neighbors. It's just a, it's a, a timing thing in terms of getting everything um, ironed out. and. I don't know what the, the details around special reopening a special or site plan review and, and how that works, whether, do you know details I, here? Um, I would, I think that you would probably be better served by sticking with the original design yeah. if well, that's I'm just wondering, if you, take the, if you take the yeah. neighbors mm -hmm. and you're willing to go out and talk to them, you've got a fixed point that you can go to and it's going to mean that more, that same construction going up there and you can persuade them that, that this way here is going to be less yeah. invasive yeah. and you can get people to sign off on it. I don't know why we'd have to have I, a public know, hearing. I don't understand. I, I don't like that idea, Paul. Okay. Right. The, the reason is, is because, yeah. you know, I'm not saying I don't trust this guy or anything. We don't, I don't think it's good as a public board to send applicants out to do, you know, what we're supposed to be doing. Right. Uh, yeah. But on the same hand, I don't necessarily think that this is a big change. Uh, right. Every you know, 
all of the, the panels, the locations, right. the screening, the storm, yeah. everything's the same. the same. All they're basically right. doing is moving the access road closer to the houses, but it will be, because of the drop in elevation, you won't even see it. And, you know, even if it was a, a place of some sort of business where you had a car, even if it was only one car every day, you might right. even think about it. But when you're talking about one every two months, once, yeah. once a month or something like that, who's going to, you know, the snowmobilers are going to drown that out in the wintertime. <laughs> and I would just add to that is that the reduction actually not only, if you look at the road, not only will you have less amount of gravel. One question before you turn that page um, is, how does the fire department get into the site if they need to get there? Same one. Same, same, same access route. route. Mm -hmm. So it's a reinforced route. It's the route. same as before. Yeah, it's the same exactly as before. Same turning radii and everything. So they oh. would go right along those tree lines? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. right I'll it. just say that you will actually have, with the, with the change in the access road location, a substantial um, drop in truckloads of, of gravel because not only is there, there that whole segment of set right road, there's also the other road is the same length as this, but then it drops it down south. And so there's up, also up that well. whole section there. Mm -hmm. So this is a shorter, um, it's a shorter access road cut it will cut down on the amount of of trips truck, truck. so um, it's, it, sound, it sounds like if you went out for a public hearing and you present this to them and the worst case scenario is you go right back to what we had before mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. don't don't change it um, and maybe they'll see the sense of changing it to what you want well they have to change you have to change it either way What's that? You have to I, change it we're pushing on every source so there's a chance we don't, but this was attractive enough across the board and we thought for all parties it would work quite well. So that's why no, but what would it. what would what was what is it that they're asking you to do other than what? They will, they're making us put the meter on the same parcel. And the only way to do that, um, without, you know, pulling it back here and then widening this and creating an access road along this way so that they, they can run, which nobody wants. Yeah. No, no, nobody wants that was to put it over over here, uh, up at this side. Let me ask you something. In the original plan, when you were going to excavate and use an easement, you, on <laughs> that sharp bend, you were going to have to add several poles to that area. Right here. Yeah, that, four, that's where you thought you, the meters were going to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. So by moving it down past all those houses, you're going to eliminate those poles. Yeah, the whole, right the whole visual point. impact of the poles on this corner, yeah. it disappears. And the poles, better. like I'm saying, you've got a drop here, yeah. and you've got an existing tree buffer. Yeah. So the poles are placed behind that. Right. So the visual impact on the community is mitigated. It's, it's right. Yeah, it's, it's significantly lessened. Yeah. So again, it was the kind of thing of why didn't we do this the first time? Well, we thought that using this existing road, that, that's what... It's a little what, further from the neighbors, that was part of the issue. That had not entered in, the, in our thinking, oh. but it was just because it existed. We thought, oh, oh it's, it's cheaper and easier to work with an existing road than to build a new one. Mm -hmm. But actually, our original lease with the landowner had this is our access. This is what he wanted to use because uh, this is his property for it. We just then thought, oh, using an existing road is better. Um, had it didn't even come up in conversation with neighbors originally. Um, again, it, this was come, brought about because Eversource said, hey, we want you to do this. Mm -hmm. So, and so a point of clarification, if my understanding is correct, the board is saying that if just the utility poles and the meter. Um, change location, but the access road remains unchanged as yeah. the original yeah. pole, no need for a new hearing. But you're thinking that if we go for or decide that we want to keep the, the access road, change, I mean, uh, go with the change, then you're requiring a public hearing for that. Because that is an option that we just run the poles here and leave the, which would be a, a minor change. And then we just, we leave the access road as is. Um, that, that's something we could do as well. And the reason we bring that up is because of the time yeah. issue. And yeah. of course, there is a considerable expense that is associated with opening the hearing again. Yeah. And it literally opens the hearing then to, um, so it's almost like a double jeopardy. Not that we would expect it because we really hashed that out. I think we went through three or was it four hearings for, for the last one and um, we really hashed out quite 
uh, uh, quite a bit of, of the issues. And it really, it came down to um, uh, visuals on the, the field itself and the location of those power poles mm -hmm. at the curve. Yeah. And now the power poles are going away. They're there is no change at all to the layout of the solar field. But I thought you said this was underground going across ways. It, it will be, yeah. The, it is, but, but it's then you mentioned the, poles there. Yeah. Just no, no, the, no, no, the, the lines are buried. Um, so you won't see, you know, power lines running like you do normally, but there's four interconnection poles that, that have to go right here at the end, oh, just because that's okay. where... They were going to be on the corner. Yeah, they were, but they now were that's... Going away. They were yeah. right here. And, you know, in that case, you have a neighbor here, you have a neighbor here, a neighbor here, here, here. You have a lot more neighbors right there where these poles were going to go. And they're power, they're power poles. They, they, they don't do much. They disappear. Nobody sees power poles. But they were still going to be here. Now they're here. So again, they're at that drop with the, the trees right, right by it. It's just a lot less visibility with it. And those trees are as tall as your poles that you're putting in? I, I did not measure the height of them, but... I believe they're I, about 35 to 40 feet if not taller tree. Those are fairly mature trees. Yeah, they, they are mature trees. So again, for reference sake, this is, this is standing at right where the concrete, the asphalt ends. We're talking about putting the poles right here on the low, the low part of the ground um, where you got these trees and then the hill that drops as well. So what were the points of contention um, the first time around, it was the pole placement. People didn't want to see these poles. Um, yeah, the poles, I don't think, were the main fight, fighting point. One of the things was we had proposed running above ground, just because a lot of people do that. We conceded to, to bury our power lines. That okay. was part of it, which we're, we're still offering here. We're not going to run them above ground. We'll continue to bury those. Um, and then just visual from, from a distance. You know, this is 1,100 feet from the nearest right. quarter and mile. The, and the land, the land the slopes mile. down, down right. towards the solar so panel, so you don't see them. Yeah. Yeah. What you're proposing and what you're talking about sort of doesn't step on the toes of the original concerns. Absolutely no. not. No, not at all. If anything, no. it, is, it, it reduces the impact because you're reducing the amount of construction Tr activity. Truckloads were one of the contentions. That yeah. was. So it's reducing well. yeah. that. And it in no way... Um, changes the fact that the construction trucks have to run by all those properties. I mean, there's still right. even with in fact, the change fear of them. Yeah, right. there will be no change in that. The only change will be they'll have with this access road location, they would have um, Ooh, fewer truckloads. They would have fewer truckloads. And again, the access road will not be visible. I mean, it just goes down right away. So just to just to remind people what we just did with the previous project here. It was some revisions. They came to us just like this and we said we felt that we needed a, a public Second. hearing. We did it within four weeks. We had it. it took an hour um, and then we, we made our decision and approved it. Um, so I, I could see that similar thing happening. Our next meeting is November 4th. Plenty of time to get the two-week public notice out. Um, but doesn't maybe, that require... Maybe nobody comes. Maybe people do come. If they do come, they get to say what they want to say. I think we had the largest if, amount of people come to this meeting that we've ever had. Did they have to notify the abutters again? Yes. We uh, would have to notify the abutters. It would mean a new application has to be submitted. Um, um, but not a new site plan. Maybe um, there was... Uh, well, a new site plan. Uh, yeah, you would have to... Uh, this this uh, this site there were 75 or 80 people sitting there out here. There was a lot of people. Oh, there came from yeah, yeah. yeah. Sawmill Plain, Plain Road. There was a lot of people at that original meeting. I guess I, mean, I think there's an argument to be made for if the original um, issues aren't being re reignited, readdressed, however you want to put it. Um, and to me, this seems like a superior plan. I mean, if you want to editorialize on, you know, how green it is, it's how many fewer, you know, tanks of expensive, disgusting gas, you know? I, I have a hard time seeing what the downside is to changing it to this plan. Like, if it's reducing, if it's moving those poles to a less visible place, if it's fewer truckloads, 
if it's a greener plan. I don't know, I'm having a hard time. Because, in fact, because there was such a concern, the neighbors are want, were very um, active, they were doing their work, they know our code very well, um, they need to be alerted. The our site plan review is, this, is the mechanism by which we alert neighbors to development in their neighborhood, and we did approve this plan. Um, and uh, there's, if I pardon? Unanimously, I think there was one abstention. Uh -huh. So, so it's not I don't like think I voted on it. Yeah, yeah. I think you're uh, saying yeah. from that. Yeah, but I abstention. think that um, I think that it's just it's, it's a substantive change. So, so if we if we do have another public hearing, listening to what she said and what, what happened before, can we limit yes. the public hearing? to just these changes, yes. Yes. nothing else. Absolutely. And so if people say, well, I don't want to look at this, we, we're not going to entertain that type of thing, you know, because... You yeah, know, that is what I'm talking that's, that's about. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we'll like she go. said, we're basically putting them through the same process no, all over no. now. No, so, so when you said a new application, I think we... Uh, I got to check on that, because I'm not sure these other guys actually did a new application. No. <laughs> it was just to look at one thing. Uh, so that's what the public hearing would be about. But there was a lot more than just that one thing talked about. Absolutely. Tonight. That's why this is a less significant in the, the overall, but that we did, we've been looking at their program plan yeah. for yeah. months uh, all summer. Well, that, right, their plan had a lot of changes, so we yeah. have to look at the different aspects. Okay. Okay. Like, I wouldn't, we don't need a site plan reviewer for this a because the okay. you know, slopes okay. and all the rest yeah. of it don't yeah. look like they're going to change. No, we, we, you know, we want to work with you guys. We mm -hmm. want to be good neighbors with, with the whole thing, and I, I, I don't see how it's a substantive change. It's pretty minimal, especially in that it's contracted instead of expanded, but we'll do it. We'll do what needs to be done. And then the, the property owner on this south side there, mm -hmm. you're, you're right on their property line. Um, the, uh, this, is, this is us. Oh, this. Um, that one. That one. Um, I think that's Mr. Bowman. You know, it's, it's kind of like what we. It is. It is Steve I, I, I agree with you that I, we all think this is about a plan, but it's the public process that I'm more no, concerned about, I think. Um, Okay. So we can have, um, I, I, I think in this case then, the, um, uh, uh, the strong point of having a new application or is if the application was specific. One second, we may not change then. Just yeah. so right. you know, we, uh, may, we may leave it as is. Um, if we can get Eversource to agree to, to this change, because they have shown that after you push on them a little bit, they'll, yeah. they'll change. So there may be an opportunity okay. to miss okay. re reducing the number of trips. It's, it's, it's just what I'm trying to deal with. There. So I would say let's, let's look at three options. Leave it the way it was. Bury the lines on that route, but keep the road where it was. Right, right. Or come back for a, an, an expedited public hearing to change the access road. Well, and can you plan for a public hearing and then we're yeah. ever sourced to back down or whatever, then he could yeah, pull we could, the- we could schedule it tonight okay, and then okay. you come yeah. or not. You know, yeah, you yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's fine. I think we can, we can work with that. And I'll, I'll chat with my engineer tomorrow and see what he has to say on it. But So if we were to go that route, and if the, the, if, um, uh, the client, if uh, Hexagon says, okay, we're willing to go with the expedited um, public hearing, what would you like from us? Yeah. What's what's what is us? what is the specific thing and how do we word that notice? Because if we word and this is why I am as as you spoke to it, why I'm worried about the the double jeopardy. If we because Meredith's the way the is a planner, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, if we simply send out another public hearing notice you're going to have the, know, the whole know, community come back out yeah. again and wanting to know, and they're going to be like, what jewel. the heck? <laughs> and so it's just opening it wide well, open. Access road. I mean, that's how you presented it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah It's yeah. the access road. It's not the solar panels. Yeah. Right, but that's not how the public hearing notice is worded. The public hearing notice simply gets worded that... No, we um, can word it how we... We worded this one differently than the original one was. Okay. We said it was a smaller building. We said yeah, the four fact, things that changed, or the right. five things that changed. Yeah. Very so specific. here we would spe be specific. We're only going to review the access road that's moving, you know, All right. 50 yards south. I don't know, whatever. You know, yeah. so that's, right. the, that's the thing. And so, and, and we will. And poles. And poles. And poles. Yes. We, we moved from 
one space and corner. Put it in the other corner. Yeah. Yeah. And our notice, that's the main thing is, is, yes, the wording that you put out is your notice, but then the public notice to abutters that we have to send out. Um, that's the same. Would, same notice. That's the same notice. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Oh, right. You, I'm yeah, getting yeah. it confused with the Conservation Commission. You actually send out that notice. Yes. Am I correct? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. At least we think yeah. we do. We don't know what the new yeah. change well, is. <laughs> We're not sure who's going to do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> so we got to get working on it tomorrow because it might right. take a week to do it. So. And yeah. you said your next meeting is November, November 4th. 4th. First Monday of November. I think that <laughs> doesn't look like a holiday on my book. No. Yeah, I think the next one is soon. Oh boy, mm -hmm. I can't be there that night. My dad is running for local election in Virginia, where I live. I need to go help him. <laughs> but, um, Mer but, but Meredith, but could I be will here. be here. That, I think okay. that's not that's absolutely possible. okay. Okay. And we've seen you. We've heard this. I mean, we know. Yeah, and. Uh, like I said, we'll, we'll so, work with you. So the other thing I would just, um, that slope thing that you talked about, just be clear about that it's, it is lower down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I think what else, what other kind of clarity? Yeah, like an elevation would illustration would probably help you. Well, well what I can do is I can go look at the height of the trees and come up with what the different feet are. Feet are. Those yeah. renderings are actually quite expensive to get Yeah, I was just going to say, that There's is. Quite a bit of effort. Um, but I can go get heights of trees and then find out heights of poles and say what. what well, I can tell you when we were when I was a Boy Scout leader, somebody went and stood by the tree yes. and then you just took the yeah, 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 and no. you could do that yeah. pretty yeah. easily. Yeah. Yeah. I had to learn how to do that in, it's in pretty easy. undergraduate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, we, can, you, we can handle but that. But yes, That's, we can get a chronometer yeah. out there and <laughs> get the you probably get a trees. drone they can fly up there and do <laughs> <laughs> exactly the Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. If we can avoid the visual rendering, that would be, I mean, it, unless you're specifically requiring it. I don't think, uh, I don't think so. Either. Yeah. My other question that I, I think people bring up is, so the construction of the, bringing in all the solar panels and all the poles and all the rest of it is going to be done on this access road. Yeah, it's going to be less So, less you know, that's a, remind us that's a two, three month Four yeah, it should be process. It's a three, four month process. You know, two to four, depending on time that, of year. Because that's when it would annoy the neighbors the most. Yeah. And it's closer to them now, so that's the thing. So that's just be prepared for that question, I guess. Um, only Stewart the turn, right? only the turn is close. I mean, they're still going to have the same number of trucks, and if anything, it's going to be less because as soon as they turn and drop down on that road, that's an immediate sound barrier as soon as they drop down there. So in some respects, they're going to have less dust, less commotion, less noise. Then you're, then you're a winner, you know? If yeah, you can I, just I show that. Do it. And yeah. I think, you know, Tony Martino, who lives at the corner, um, I've spoke, I spoke with him at the end. And actually, we actually kind of made up, we made nice. He had not been at a public hearing. That was one of my earlier public hearings as well. And so I think we were both trying to sort out. So I'll go mm -hmm. chat with him and, and talk with him and see what he has to say. That's a key. And, and, I um, think that's a good, good huh? move. See, yeah, we can't we count can on that. Like, we can't say, OK, good. Know, you and Tony are friends now. But yeah, yeah, you can't really yeah, have yeah, them go get think four people's signatures yeah. or something. Yeah. And so. Well, and the thing, the thing is, too, is if you're going to if we're going to do something on the November the 14th and then the 4th, then you've got to be getting it soon so you get your two, right. your two weeks notice. Then we've got to right. get right. 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 Yeah, so. let me, uh, I'll touch base with my my team tomorrow and see what they what they have to say and then we'll get back with you guys pretty quickly. All right. And then if the decision is you do need a new application then from us that you just state specifically about the access road. Correct. And okay. the polls. Yeah. All right. And, and the change, and of, polls. And change right. of polls. Mm -hmm. That it, the public hearing okay. is limited to that because we did hash out that you know ad, ad nauseum the oh, yes screening we and we did visual renderings and showed the impact is minimal. So if we could keep the conversation not not there, that's great. And are we uh, do, do you need us to say we we approve if you just move in the poles and not the access road? I mean at that point. I think the building inspector yeah, the building would just, inspector wouldn't even I don't, I don't think, he, I think he just, would have done that. He would just say, yeah, yeah okay, no. that's, so you know, less we, than 1% so of your side area is changed. That, so. mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and so can you, um, I don't have my calendar in front of me. Do you have, what is your deadline for um, getting the application mm -hmm. from us? And that's all you would need. It, you, do you have yeah, and, the number of site plans that you would need? I mean, by, by application, I mean, just is there any chance that this is 
this is good? You have what's needed here, or do you need this a, is fun. A, a full write-up narrative, or do you need something else? It's got good lines no, on oh, it, it's I got elevations there, on it. Isn't there, okay. I There's a little application, and, and I think, um, yeah, it's just that paper. Yeah. Did yeah. these guys have to pay a fee? And that's what I'm thinking, is we can waive the $350. I think it's something, I think it's $350 yeah. for a site. They didn't pay a fee, though, did they, did when they came in? I no, think they Chamberlain, they, they, they probably paid the, the the notification fee. Right. Yeah. So it would really be no, just for the notification. Okay. Wow. Well, yeah. That, that's fine. We'll, we'll, we're, we'll cover that. Well, I don't, I'm wondering if we did it with Sons Mass. Well, we well I'll check it out. I don't think we waived the fee with them. Well, we didn't charge them a fee. We didn't? No. Because no. it was a revision. Oh, then. Yeah. 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 Revisions kind of fall into the old. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 We'll, 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 we'll work with yeah. you. I told you what, $300 to do the mailing? So that's what that's, you're looking for there. That's fine. Yeah, we're going to three hundred dollars in four I, weeks. Um, okay. Well, so we'll have to. So we'd have to know. Uh, three hundred dollars to pay somebody to do it. Early next week, <laughs> you'd have to know so that we okay. could get the things in the mail by like the fifteenth or sixteenth. I'll check. Like I say, I'll check with my my engineer and my team tomorrow and make sure that that it, it might be what's tomorrow Tuesday. It might be Wednesday before I let you know because I imagine he's going to get on the phone with EverSource and just understand all of our different paths if we can get on the phone with Eversource. That's a fun game, in yes. case you're ever bored. Know it well. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, but we not, got, not a fan. We got not a fan of it, Eversource, just so um, I'll say that publicly. The, the people we've worked with there have actually been really, really fine, so not to, not to hate on anybody. But um, OK, we'll, I'll, I'll let you know by Wednesday for sure what, what our OK, and then the forward. notification fee is what you would be requiring, not a new application fee, Correct. but just the notification fee. Correct. And then uh, mm -hmm. the, the sheet, the, do you need an application sheet, or is this enough for the application? No, we should have the, the sheet. You should okay, make it. Okay, okay. Who do we want him to call? <laughs> oh, and do we need to, do we also, do we, so we, do we have to generate a new abutters list? No, that's done up here at the, uh, as, at the uh, office right over here. Okay. They'll send, they'll get you the abutters list. That's no, where they get, get it us from. The I would system. make your contact with. Uh, I'll try. I'm going to try. Acting to town administrator, Diana. Diana. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. there's nobody well, the else. Well, the assessors are right up here, and they generate the, 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 the names. No. Well, that's that's what I had to do when I did it. 10, I think it is the assessor. It's the clerk or the assessors. Um, right. It's just. Typically, they ask for an assessor's list, so that's also yeah. a yeah. They go right there. They addition. put in. The, they draw the circle. It does a 300 foot, yep. and it's all done back here. I forget the lady's name back here in this office. Karen. But Karen. Karen. Yeah, Karen. Yeah. yeah. Karen does that, and and whoever does it, whether you do it or whether the town does it, town she's the one that's going to lay it out and give you mm -hmm. the the list of names. Okay. Yeah. And she'll give that to us, or she'll give it. Do you well, guys send the mailers? Not, or they do didn't we? used to, but they can. They Not that I want to add anything new to yeah. your plate, but no, we that's we what I see. If we don't know, if we've got we're, we're we don't have to show right or I don't want that to slow down. I know your process, so that could yeah. be an yeah. issue. Yeah, yeah, we can still get time. Yeah, who um, can, can, can one of you be like a point person, especially given the lack of town staff? What do you want this point person to do? Did Scott he sends me emails sometimes, and sometimes I don't get back to him so quickly, and I think this is a time sensitive thing, so um, Wednesdays. If he's trying to find someone in the town, and he can't. I'll, I'll come into the town. I'll come into the office and do it. If that's what you're talking about. No, just an email. Is that yeah. like well, no. I, mean, I think you're talking about getting in here okay. and finding out who's going to mail it. Yeah. What's that? You want to do something? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Call me. Okay. okay. Great. Great. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Um, so and then, the, and then the uh, if you can draft the sentence or two on what the change is, mm -hmm. yeah. then we can just use, yeah. you know, we'll look yes. at it and. Okay. okay, and then use that in the mailers, yeah. and then in, say yeah. it's limited to just the change on the roadway. I'll go and try to talk with uh, with some of the neighbors and see see what they have to say. And see what they're about. I know, I mean, if you can do that first, you get a sense of which direction you're going. Yeah, yeah. Um, All right. Now, I do want to just real quick question. If we do reopen it, does that put, not that I expect any problem, Again, it was one abstention, but unanimous. But does that put the previous site plan review at risk? Well, that's that's what we're trying to say. Is no, no, no. Okay, okay. That that all we're going to do is look at the revision and say yes, same yes same or no project. on the road on the I access. I think what road. he's saying is, if we came up with a negative finding this time, right? Does that negate our previous yeah. site plan right. review? Right, no. and it wouldn't. 
No, the negative finding would just be on this new access road. Right. It would okay. still okay. leave the yeah. approval. Yeah. So we can limit we can limit that yeah. area to just. And this. that's what okay. the, the the blurb that I right. send I would okay. send to okay. them okay. Right. is specific. Yeah, to that, that. that's fine. Right. That's fine. Specific well, uh, I'll talk to my engineer and see what he wants to do, changes. but I, I think that works fine for us. Uh, so, thank you guys. I'm sure. Thank you. Oh, I want a card. I mean, Sorry, you want to keep this because this is then you can acquaint yourself with the the project. We we spent a lot of time with this one. Okay. Um, all right. So actually, can we have a vote on the? Uh, let's let's vote to have a public hearing on November fourth for um, Old Frontier. I make a motion three to have a public hearing on the Old Frontier Three, three. Solar Project. Mm -hmm. I second it. November 4th at 7 o'clock? Yes, 4th, 7, 7 o'clock. November 4th, 7 o'clock. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? 600. Great, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, so what was your, what was your motion there, Kip? To We'll approve this uh, public, hearing. public hearing for the um, um, old frontier three, three solar public project. hearing for and if you want to put it in your notes for a revision of the uh, a relocation of the access road frontier three yeah to shorten change change. Oh, Interconnect. Yeah. To Eversource. Mm -hmm. That sound right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like the access road and the interconnection site. Access road. Mm -hmm. Road and interconnect. Okay. Good. Yep. Excellent. Thanks. All right. So Thank just you. keep us up to date, and but we'll we'll put it on the agenda unless we hear otherwise. Any chance we can be first item on? Yes. Great. Thank you. Okay. Old business. Um, actually, can I skip? Can we switch eight and nine? Sure. Um, eight, nine, eight, seven, eight. Seven and eight. So um, last last meeting. I felt kind of excited because the town was getting more staff and we had someone who seemed to be taking on some things and we thought we could start getting into looking at changing bylaws that we've wanted to do for the past year and then, I don't know, it was a week later or something we like that, email saying that Mike's gone and that um, there is the, uh, I think they might have interviewed, I don't know if anybody's heard, but they are interviewing, there's a job description out there for Priscilla's replacement, but I don't know how fast that's going. Um, does anybody have an update on that? No update. So, as we've discussed several times, the staff is, uh, is, is uh, we're missing some staff people here. So I kind of feel like <laughs> we, we got to get that straightened out before we can. I, well, I who, who we'll can I talk to for that decision? I would try to write that up if I knew somebody that could give some help doing that. What decision? Well, the decision for the um, uh, recepting and the, four, and the four exceptions oh. and all of that. You see what I'm saying? Uh, right. So get yeah. that right out to them. Um, if we can do that, uh, who, who would we do it through? Who would be a good person to just make sure we get it right? Or has a sample of one maybe that we've done that we could copy? Diana must have that. What's that? Diana must have a copy of one that we've done okay. before. All right. You, you can try you talk yeah. with her. But. All right. I'll try to talk to, to her tomorrow and see mm -hmm. what we can do. That'd be Cause great. Because it shouldn't. That would be great. Nobody well, if we had the that, sample. Yeah, that's, a, that's a heck of a thing to take on. Just so I talked to oh. someone at the, sorry. I, yeah, sorry. No, go ahead. The FERCOG was the other option Roger just asked, and they haven't replaced uh, They're still in Pat, Smith's Pat Smith being either. I mean, they have other people who do this kind of work, but um, we don't have, yeah, any, we don't have any contract with them or anything. But I no, wonder, right. would Pat Smith be available on a per day, you know? Oh, you know, she thing? very well might be as a you private know, consultant. I could find out how to get a hold of her and see. We have $7,500. Now, I don't want to take away from this meeting too much, but you, 
you're saying that seventy five hundred dollars was added to an amount, or we I, have a budget now. Right, but, but that, I think the whole budget is seventy five. Right, that's the yeah. whole budget. I'm yeah. just, then that's, I'm yeah. teasing. I mean, I'm not no. teasing, but no, it is. no, we there's still the twenty five. There's still the twenty five thousand. Different still than Priscilla's position. I guess. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, that. yeah. Right. but yeah. there's still the twenty five thousand that's in there for our revolving our revolving fund, and we've got money in that revolving. Yeah, fund. Yeah, I don't think it's twenty five thousand. No, 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 no. But we can go to twenty five thousand depending on you know, and we've got a fair chunk of money in there. I don't know that we do though. Should we speak? I, I mean, should we approach the select board as far as saying, I, w I understand that they're looking to hire people, but I'm yeah. telling you, if can kicking was an Olympic sport, Deerfield would be the world champion. It's <laughs> <laughs> a long road. To get oh, Ed, trust me, I know firsthand. So You're only um, a year away from that, you know? A year away from what? From kicking a can. You were, you were kicking okay, it a year ago. Okay, let's keep talking. <laughs> keep talking. Don't give Kip. Yes. A anyways, I, you know... If with the seventy-five hundred dollars, we should, you know, uh, have we should be able to find our own person. I know that have to be a town employee, but a part-time person mm -hmm. that could come in and deal with us, even yeah. if it was mm -hmm. only, you know, two days a week. Yeah. But specifically for our planning board stuff, mm -hmm. and what we do is pretty important. And yeah. you know, a lot of stuff has been going through the cracks, yeah. and I don't feel bad. Because we can't handle it. We're all volunteers, right. Right. you know. And like I said before, I mean. There's ninety thousand dollars floating out here for a generator that was approved three years ago. That we don't well, need. this town spends money on. The it. reason that the finance committee did not want to approve uh, those line items was because the money exists to to pay for these employees currently. Right. So that was their issue. I, I I listened to you Skip. heard that. I, yeah, I watched. Yeah. 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 So so yes, we could. Uh, we should. We should hire do that. Someone. And, yes, and hire I agree. Somebody. I yeah. agree. And, and if we have to, I mean, between us, I mean, I'll even take it. We could interview people or whatever. Right, right, right. Just do it, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's just, um, I, I, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a plan and all that stuff. But, but we know, need somebody. I think if you, if you looked at that job description, with it, they're, you know, that if we do get this plan first, they're not going to want to sit down and do this, I'm not going to say menial, the, the secretary type work yeah, yeah, yeah. that we really need. Yeah. Well, that means they're willing to do it, but they want to do all this stuff. They don't want to just well, do that. I mean, I, I hear what you're saying, but we have things that need to get, get done, done that aren't getting done. Right. And I don't even call them menial. I mean, I think, no. like, Paul puts forward these minutes, right. and they need to be logged somewhere, cleaned up. He does yeah. a great, great job putting those out there, and I am super, super um, appreciative. But oh. they need to be, like, you know, they don't really go anywhere. They should go online. They should be zooped exactly. up. They and should be on Well, see, Pat Kroll, I think, may the no. Okay. So, how, what is that mechanism for hiring somebody? Um, someone said they would have to be a town employee. Is that true? We would have to or offer a town employee an extra gig, like on the side? No, not necessarily. I mean, we could hire if if we hire somebody, it would have to go through the hiring process. We could hire someone who was part time that wouldn't get the benefits and stuff from a town as a town employee. But not, you know, there there might be. I'm sure there's a lot of you know people who are. Or there might be right. retired, or mm -hmm. you know, there's a lot of different scenarios mm -hmm. out there. And I think it could be a consultant. It could be well, right? It could be a consultant, like a, yeah. or contract. I don't know what you call it. But yeah. I think yeah. So how do we do this? Do we mm -hmm. where do we, who at, like who do we ask to advertise? Do we put a do we advertise? Like uh, I think I think are if we you want? I mean, I will talk with Diana about it and yeah. see what. But I think that you know maybe. I'll go with John, and we could go to selectmen's meeting some evening. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not saying this Wednesday, but we can go and say, look at, you know, this is urgent. We need, mm -hmm. we need to get somebody doing this. Um, well, and I think to John's point, right? You were about to say that it's kind of hard to take on this other work yeah. if we have no one who's supporting us, right? Right, right. It's alone. It slows everything down. Right, right. And there's, you know, as far as like what Paul does the minutes. I mean, I've looked through it. It's, it's real important. For us to keep these minutes and stuff, and I, I mean, Deerfield has not, that I'm aware of, gotten into trouble for this. But, but we're not these in compliance. Minutes, yeah, we're not in compliance, and and you go through and you look through this stuff, and there's we're supposed there. to post agendas. We're supposed to post oh. minutes. Well, we're, now yeah. I've, I've talked, I've talked with Priscilla, and and if when Priscilla got them, she as she this is what I was told. Now, she gave them to to um, Pat Kroll who's the person that puts it onto the internet. Okay, so, so that that's where they get stored. 
I've never seen the minutes on them. They're not there. I, I sent. I sent. I, I sent, I I sent her. It's not, it's months not, it's not, yeah, exactly. It's not you. I, it's not, not no, you. no. Theoretically, but, they're there. But there's a file in in the building inspector's office, for, and it has planning board minutes. You know, that's different right. from the select board's minutes. But even in that, they're not all there. And you know, in, there's sometimes where you know, if you go back and you want to see what happened in the meeting, and you, you read it, and it's like, what the heck? Mm. And I'm not saying recently, but you know, even going back a ways. And, you know, I think All right, so I can you talk to see what I'll, Diana I'll, I'll, says because I think she wants help. She needs help. She does. So if we she could does. take a little bit on, I'll give Pat Smith a call just to give her see if she is looking for any part time work because, I mean, she could jump right in quicker than a lot of people. Sure, um, good. Lots of them. Yeah, it depends yeah. on how many hours, but. Um, so that'd be good. That's, yeah. So there's an action. So, um, and then when, maybe you can send an email out to us if you find anything that we could do even before the next meeting. Yeah, I will. I'll talk to Diane. That's an administrative thing. That's not a. If we're not yeah. discussing right. planning board policy or anything. No matter what I uh, hear from Diane, I'll let you know. I'll All right. Good. Okay. Good. But I think that's I think that's something that we really need to to get done. And I. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And I, and I agree, I haven't been to a select board meeting in a long time. Maybe we need to get on the agenda, planning board, mm -hmm. and have, have mm -hmm. 20 minutes with them and just say how serious this is. So mm -hmm. um, yep. okay. we could do that too. It's really not, like, that's what I, at the finance committee, it was really not hard to kind of speak up and say, look, we're looking at housing inventory. That's low on the, we're looking at solar regs, which yeah. are outdated. We're looking at marijuana, marijuana uh, regs that are yeah. zoning that we're really concerned about. Yeah. We're looking at, um, I, for, oh, the floodplain. Yeah. Like we did all that work and we oh, haven't like, we started to really pull the trigger on some of those things, but we did some good work to look at the floodplain, you know, issues and what, what changes we might make relative to that. And then, so, anyway. and at FERCOG, um, the there are a couple of um, grad students from Harvard Forest who laid out a bunch of um, different planning scenarios based around you know, um, climate challenges and you know, the new floodplain yeah, maps. That's exactly. going to come out very soon. It's the new exactly. floodplain maps. So at some point, it would be interesting to look at those. But right now, we're I feel like we're in a little bit of an administrative right. crisis. So what can yeah. we do about it? Yeah. Mm. All right. So that's that's old business. And it's 9.35, so unless there's anything else. You want a motion we have to a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. I second. So all those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.